Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Royal Talk. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I uh, just, just want to start off by saying um, thank you guys to everyone who's been showing love, support, stopping us in the gym, yes. on the streets, yes. telling us we're doing a great job um, on on all our our Instagram, anything online. Um, we're just super grateful. Um, as you guys know, <coughs> we're not really getting paid for this. You know, this is just something we want to do for fun and like hang out, talk shit, smoke some weed, have some good subjects, meet some cool people. So it just really motivates us and uh, keeps us going. So we really appreciate that. Uh, secondly, uh, we'd really appreciate it if uh, you guys followed all of our um, socials. We're on TikTok, Instagram, uh, YouTube. You can now watch all our um, YouTube starting from episode six on on, on YouTube now. Um, so we'd really appreciate it. Subscribe, follow on any of our accounts. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to DM us, talk to us whatever we're there give us a little feedback good bad all of it we yeah want it. we definitely. want it all and if you definitely. need help you want to talk or something we're here too and last uh i want to thank our sponsor heck smoke shop heck smoke shop <laughs> out in adelanto um go ahead and uh, give them a follow on instagram heck smoke shop uh on instagram and um we want to thank them for uh providing us do you guys see our new thing of joints our papers they they uh they provide all our smoking accessories. accessories make sure you guys check it out they have what dude do you still have that is that freaking bong in there that i fucking thought was gorgeous that purple one dude what's funny we just sold it yesterday god damn it i was like yeah. that one was it all the way to the right in the, the case the like, one that the, you he said you noticed it too the right when you walk yeah yeah you know the mushroom one you liked yeah um the, and you know there's a little monster that with the mouth. eye yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So that one was pretty fucking with dude, the white had yes. white and purple like yeah. a, a fluorescent purple dude i walked yeah, in there yeah, and i yeah, go yeah. joe that thing caught my eye the minute i walked in here because you know all this shit's beautiful glass and beautiful. that's the thing uh, people tell us about hex a lot when they come in they're like dude how much is this i don't think i can afford it and then well, you know it, it we're, look, we're reasonably priced like we're actually sure. cheaper than but i will say this like um it looks high end like going in and visiting yeah. the place, maybe it like, can be intimidating. Maybe yeah, you would you would think like the pr- it's gonna be a pricier place, but that's nice to like have everything at a good price. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah. It, yeah, it looks nicer than the prices really are, right? <laughs> it like just that. yeah, like it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, I love no, it's show. a very good looking store, but like it's a little intimidating on if you're gonna buy something there, maybe like of a big piece, yeah. because you're like, I'm gonna spend money here. Be- just <laughs> that's how it works. Yeah, I we, love that the wood the wood pieces. Oh, the oh marley, my god, the natural I'm marley. Just saying, yeah. it, look, it looks gorgeous in here. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I've tried to see if Hex would, you know, uh, deliver one over here, but nothing's popped up yet. So we'll see. <laughs> they said they haven't gotten a good shout out video, so we just <laughs> gave it to them. <laughs> Hex. So, <yeah. laughs> so um, we also was... wanted to say real quick, um, <laughs> this this episode is going to air on Christmas Eve. Oh, um, we did do a shoot a shoot with uh, JC, and um, unfortunately, we had to scrap it due to some technical difficulties, but. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have JC back on. He was a super cool dude, awesome fucking talk. Um, kind of bummed out, but you guys really uh, had a thing going. It was pretty cool. Oh, these two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought you guys were start sucking each other's boys, dicks. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, suck my dick to their fucking punk music. <laughs> Black yeah. my wrist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> catalyst. <laughs> Hey, dude, I listened to New Found Glory. Oh, I hate love it. New Found Glory. Dude, are you kidding me? Uh, my I got friends to, I got to hang yeah. out with them at the House dude, of Blues. Start, really? Yeah, bro. It was super oh, cool dude. kicking it with them. I'm going to start asking all the country people I know, do you think emo sounds like country with a different beat? Like, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm really stuck on that right I now. I know. Yeah, yeah. well. All right, so how was the gym? Yeah. It was great. Great workout today. Great workout today. Hit some arms. Uh, did buys and tries. Blew my fucking arms the fuck up. You look good in that picture. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I had that, a good that, that's pop. your special pose. Oh, oh that, I told you, dude. You look good, man. I do, yeah, dude. Yeah. I, I I grew up idolizing Hulk Hogan, and that's the Hulk Hogan pose, bro. Oh, that yeah. side profile. Okay. I was like, I can pull that shit off yeah, for sure. What did you guys hit? The usual. Everything. Yeah, I mean, I've honestly been. I've been taking two rest days. I'm tired right now. I'm grinding, baby. You're grinding. I'm so hyped for Sunday, Monday off because the Monday the gym's closed, right? Yeah. yeah. Christmas day. Oh, so. thank God. So I, I'm not gonna lie. I would went. Yeah. I I probably would have. I would have went. I would not be allowed. Jacob, to get it together. Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Open my, it up. Give me the key. My chick would be looking at me like, don't come back. <laughs> yeah. If you go, don't come back. <laughs> Motherfucker, I dare you. Yeah, I dare you. You got your bag? Yeah. I think I pulled my lower back. Dude, dude I, I pulled so a, bad I pulled, today. Oh. I seen you walking right now. Like, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm walking like an old man. Bro. I pulled a, a bonehead. I left my fucking water jug open and it drained all of my bag. Oh. That's the worst. And I've had good luck. I've never. It's never happened to me. It happens to me all the this fucking time. This guy always happens and I laugh. I'm like, fuck. I have sucks. this one bottle that has a button on the front where it pops <laughs> open. So every time I drop my gym bag, if it's face down, yeah. it hits that thing. It just boop, pops it open. Oh. And I'm like, fuck. 
I get so. I mad. went to go get my headphones right now, and they're, the case is wet. Like the, uh, you know, the you're like case. no. So I'm like, oh, I better empty my bag out so it dries for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Uh, what did you hit today? Um, what's today? Friday. Yeah, uh, back and back. Bike. Yeah, I did. I'm on a different shitty seat. back because my back hurts. I'm on chest and chest and try today. Chest and try, my did boy. You, I get bummed out because you come in at the same time, and I'm like, oh fuck yeah, we're gonna get a workout with Adam, and then he's like doing something else. I'm like, oh man, dude, I'm know. really. I've been noticing though. I got to give it to myself. I'm not trying to sound like an ego man. No, no, we want it. My legs have been fucking making good improvements. Like I'm good. doing them twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays. So the first first day of the week, I kill eggs, and then I go on my about my. So what do you program. do for your leg workout? Like lately, I've been getting squats. So usually, I go in uh, leg press with lunges. Joe knows I like to do these yeah. at the same time, just to kind of get my legs warmed up. Oh Jesus! And then now I've been doing um, sounds awful yeah. lunges, bro. <laughs> yeah, in my big ass ain't coming up. <laughs> yeah. So and then I've been doing the like hamstring style um, leg press, and then I'll do like the quad, like my feet closed. Okay, so, so I'll do okay. two. So I'll do a set uh, for my hammies, and yeah. then I do a closed foot set for my both on the seated press. Yeah, the seated, seated leg one? press. Yeah, you just do higher up and yeah, lower. Yeah, gotcha. keep, put my feet together. So what's then, your? Do you do you alternate your rep range, or do like do you do like a certain set of reps for the ham? Certain. Yeah, I, well, I go ten to twelve, but I stay like heavy. I struggle. Like my first one's a warm up, and then I start. I want to struggle, and then I come down on my my quads because I'm not as strong. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean, so I'll come down maybe three plates on each side. So okay. It's a pyramid style lift. Yeah, yeah and then I'll, I'll focus on that because of the burn. Mm-hmm. And then um, I've been going after that to go do squats, like, like four sets, like heavy. Nice, I'm trying to push. Nice. And then I'll come back over and do a lighter set on the hack squat. Um, and I'll do calves at the same time. And then I'll go do leg extensions. Yeah. I usually, If I do legs, I usually like doing the hack squat. I'll do a... Uh, I do heavy weight on that, and then I'll usually do four plates on each side, and I'll do like the reverse, like a lineman pushing up. Oh, really? Yeah, and I'll do four. I do three sets, four sets to twelve. Yeah, and then I'll do. Uh, sometimes I don't always. I don't do always. No, I really don't do leg press here and there. I'll do like I'll get to leg press because usually it's always taken. Yeah. So it's, for me, it feels like a really good warm up, like to open. Your I get leg that. Up and, I get that. Oh. Even, Oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, Just remember, we need to tell the gym stories because Adam was pissed today. He's like, I'm going to fuck this fool up. <laughs> Dude, I really was mad today. Like, this fucking guy. <laughs> okay. I don't know who you are. You drive a silver truck, silver Chevy oh, HD. Shit. Don't, don't get too descriptive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> if we're not all together and he comes to talk shit to me, I'm like, I didn't say anything. <laughs> He's like, he was on your podcast. <laughs> no, I don't fuck. No, You're like, thanks for the listen. <laughs> Dude, this is, it's been like the third or fourth time, and we go, like, we'll come in at the same time, and we're on the same, like, workout schedule. Okay. So, like, he'll go to, flat chest like the bench press and he leaves his plates on mm-hmm. then he goes to the incline bench and he leaves his plates on and he goes to the next thing and leaves his plates on i'm like hey dude like i'm getting fu- i told like i told everybody in the gym pretty much today like if they're around they could have heard it even what did i tell nick i'm like if that's your homeboy fuck you it just takes one dude in there to kind of like set you off for the morning and you're like dude fuck you you know you're just well, like, well, it, 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 also, it also takes uh one dude and trend the yeah, worst trend doesn't the, help either. the reason i got upset today is he's been bothering me and i'm like all right like pretty soon i'm gonna have to deal with this one but I you was, got some balls, Adam. I like that. Well, I was um, I was on the flat bench doing skull crushers. Yeah, yeah. I was repping the hundred pounder today. I was proud of myself. Good. And so I got up to go over to the the flat bench, and we do Evans workout with the put the bands on and burnout. Mm-hmm. So I was I got that ready right, but as I'm walking over there, this dude is on the tr- the treadmill. Okay. So I set up my my station, and my bag's over there on the bench. Mm-hmm. And I turn around, he's on the bench doing some fucking sideways stretch workout. And I'm like. Where the fuck you come from being on the treadmill? Now I turn around and you're on my bench. Mm. So that's what really fucking irritated me. And I'm like, you know what? So I just walked away. I came over and told Joe. I'm like, hey, fuck this guy. I'm getting ready to fucking Well, I came in this morning and I, and I told Ryan. I was like, why do all the benches have fucking weight on it? Someone must have went on. Because there's one plate on each bench, like on each side. And um, but it was like uh, the flat bench, decline bench, and Every then I think incline, incline too. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, obviously someone just fucking left, you know. But I didn't know who it was. And then Adam comes over, he's like, this motherfucker's leaving all his weights. I was like, oh, he's the fucking idiot. I was yeah. like, but I guess I don't know if you guys know this. Like at powerlifting gyms, you it's like you can leave a set of plates. Like if you're working out on a machine or whatever, let's say it's it's like okay etiquette to leave yeah. a set of plates on there if you take all your weight. But off. did he look like a powerlifter? No, no. Well, maybe he should. It didn't uh, even look like a bodybuilder. Maybe mm-hmm. he should go back to fucking Planet Fitness and get some free so pizza. I'm in there the other balls. day. Remember when I was texting you guys? Oh, you got upset about something. Yeah. <laughs> so there's this dude. Uh, again, 
by the dumbbell rack. Okay. And this fool, you know that little pipe thing you use to stretch your shoulders? Yeah. yeah. This fool's got it and he's swinging it like a fucking samurai sword, bro. I know who you're talking about. I know who you're talking about. Bro. No. And like people are around him and they have to kind of back up because like, yo, this fool's going to fucking hit me with this thing. Not only that, dude, it goes flying out of his hand, bro. Luckily, it went to the mirror and like hit the mirror and then went behind the waist. This is real? Yes, bro. This just That's why I text you guys. I was like, yo, I'm about to fuck this guy up. Um, What's wrong? So weird that that camera does that. What is it? Beeps? Yeah. As long as it no, re- no, it turns off. It stops recording. Um, Did it do it right now? Yeah. Um, and I'll just use white for a second. Uh, but um, yeah, dude. So I was like fucking irritated, like already, just like was Ryan there? Yeah, yeah, uh, he was there. He, was, he's, he, I know who he is. I know who he is. You, I don't know who. Or yeah, maybe if you describe oh, him, God. So what? Dude. So finally, I was like, all right, fuck. We didn't have any workouts over there, so I went over there and whatever. But at that time, it, I like could see, dude. He's got his whole iPad set up on the dumbbells. On the dumbbells. On the dumbbells. Like, he's using the dumbbell rack for his fucking oh, stand, dude. God damn it. He's got, like, 10 weights with him, and, like, I'm just like... He's a weight collector, huh? But his uh, his legs look like this. Yeah, I know him. Yeah. Yeah, I know him. And he had some arms. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I was just like, all right. Is he young or older? No, he's no, older. He's older. He's older. older. I know who you're talking he about. Rolls with, he rolls with another calveless man. Did, sometimes he wear jeans? No, I don't know. In, like, a wife beater? No. To okay. be honest, I haven't seen him very often. This is... No, they're kind of. they're 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 there when I go, at three in the morning. Oh really? That's like so normal time. Maybe? 3 30, 3, 30, yeah, three thirty in the morning. They're there. Yeah, they're there. They're doing their fucking thing. Yeah, that's so, why I, I'm always like, yeah. But like, what if that shit goes? Like, what? Do you, like, what happens though? Like, if he loses that and that goes and breaks the mirror, you know what I'm saying? Like, is he respond? I just say, you know what I'm saying? Some no, I got some you. bitch. Yeah. Um, I got you. No, I like, don't even like know. How, how does that work? That thing's there to stretch. It's not to twirl around like a ballerina. Yeah, like listen up, you Power Ranger. Go yeah. somewhere else with that bullshit. Dude, yeah. there's some people that do some odd shit in the gym. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, I have a couple. I have a couple. Yeah. Even Booby was laughing the other day. He's like, "What are they doing?" I'm like, "They're, they're working out." Do you know? Do you guys ever see the memes or anybody in general like where it judges everybody in the gym like the bodybuilder, the CrossFitter, yeah. the. Uh, the dude fighting his demons. Yeah. <laughs> dude, it's so accurate yeah. too. If like you look around the gym, you'll be like, okay, now I know who's who. Do you do you do you think it gets overblown when you see like those memes like it's cold in a man or like a video? It's like a man just deals with his demons. He doesn't t- I'm like, dude, just shut up and lift, dude. Like <laughs> sometimes it's not- I like porn. <laughs> like yeah. just shut up. We I don't, don't care. I don't like that like You think it's deep, overblown? Yeah, like I don't like that deep negative like makes you feel like a pansy. Well, everybody has something, you know. What, what, I mean? what are you talking about? Like, like those videos, like where it's like, you know, why a man doesn't talk about his pains out loud? He's dying on the inside. He's like working out. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's shut like up! Super. I'm like, listening to Sublime. Yeah, like it's but, just. Yeah, well, some, so I think uh, some men are a little bit emo- more emotional than like us. Um, I, you know, you. Well, maybe they should step up their test. Well, I think the general <laughs> <laughs> and quit eating plant-based protein. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a long road right there. <laughs> well, uh, we we wanted to use this episode to actually um, get, let you guys um, um, or to learn more about Jake. You just cutting us off on our gym talk? Or? Yeah, oh, it's been fifteen minutes. Well, that was. I thought we were going. Good. Where, did yeah. you have something else to say? Yeah, yeah I apologize. Sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. We'll yeah. edit that out. No, yeah. don't edit it out. Yeah. Let it, you see how Joe treats me, people. <laughs> He's got an ego, right? Yeah. According to YouTube, <laughs> <laughs> they're coming for him and his ego. Joe, they're coming for you with their what? pitchforks. It's okay. We got Sorry. you back. We got yeah. you, Catalyst. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her my friends over you. Go tell her that. Yeah. Dude, you know all the good ones. Dude, bro. I told you I'd listen to that. Dude, I had an 89 Ford Bronco. Take that bitch to the beach, bumping that shit. All you the had an 89 OJ? Yeah. All, it was That's bur- a good. Bro, it was burgundy. You can I take the back it top off? Yeah. yeah. I called it Pepe, my, my fucking mule. That's my baby. Sweet. You know Dude. what's crazy? This is the crazy thing. When you had that thing, you didn't think how good it was till now. Like, oh, imagine for if you sure. had it now. Like, you're like, oh, I'm a, such a fucking idiot. Dude, I was like, now that you know, I'm older, I go down to the beach. I'm like, fuck, my Bronco would be fucking badass down here with, yeah. the, with old glory off the back, bro. Yeah, just dude, fucking, it's so dope. And a steel door when you barely close it, boom. Like well, a it's one where you have to push the button to open the door. Mm-hmm. And the mirrors, the mirrors are bolted to the door. Like yes. On a little seat. Oh, dude, it was bitching, dude. I got that was my first car. Really? 89 Ford Bronco. My mom, yeah, my mom gave me money for it. And I, I went and got it. Oh, I love that fucking truck, dude. One day it just died on me. Just done? I was like, no, no. And it just that was it. It was done. Are you guys um, traveling for the holiday or are you staying around? I'm staying in local. Family's here. Yeah. Joe? Going down to see the family tomorrow. Where are you guys going? Riverside? Rancho. 
Yeah, and Riverside, yeah. Both? Two stops? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Going to see Dad? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, gotta get, we, got, we gotta get Papa Joe on here, bro. What's, what's, that, what's Dad's name again? Maybe talk Mike. over. Mike. We gotta get Big Dick Mike on here, bro. Yeah. It's better looking than that. Soprano Adams. Mike. Soprano yeah. Mike. Maybe one day. No, Maybe what are you shy about? Bring him on. No, I'm not, I'm not shy. I'm just... Uh, yeah, the, I'm not. He smokes, right? No. No. Oh, okay. He enjoys the occasional special occasion um, he's super edible. super like old school cool dude uh, my but, type of guy bro yeah. that's my type of guy right there yeah all respect hell yeah so go ahead joseph oh is it cool now yeah no, not yet. don't get all sassy dude <laughs> don't get sassy so this no, epi- we're, we're gonna come back to this after we talk about this yeah, next subject uh, how about i'll tell him what you want to tell him? about youtube no oh that okay. this episode is gonna be about jake we're gonna everybody's gonna learn go about ahead. jake today go ahead yeah, because apparently all the clips are of me online, so uh, we need more from you guys. Yeah, they, they want to uh, know everybody. I'll, I'll Fuck, is that, was that a comment? <laughs> no, I no, actually, Adam got I got, someone I got two people were like, I'm not going to say. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, huh, let me text Joe. If I feel I, like I might start off the conversation, but it involves all of us. Yeah. But I really feel like, which, it's not your ego, I feel like what you said is pretty wise shit. Especially, it just depends your emotions, on that. Your money. Well, if you go on YouTube, when you people will say the, otherwise. <laughs> yeah, it's okay though. We're well, everybody's have, got a fucking yeah, opinion. Yeah, dude. yeah That's we're, how getting, it is we're getting some haters, but I mean, it's all, it's all good. good. Yeah. Hey, watch us. Yeah, yeah. I like to come hey, the territory. Guys, I like that post. We're gonna use it. I'm gonna be use it pretty soon. It's like um, when you let like your haters are following you. It's mm-hmm. like fuck it. Let them watch me win. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, fuck. Yeah. Fuck. I love it, dude. Because like, because uh, I know I'm gonna tell all you guys. I don't care. I'm not like these fools. I'm a little different. But if you guys are haters, keep fucking watching us. I love it. Same. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I thank you for thank you for yeah, the views. Actually, Jake's more similar to me. Joe's a little nicer on this end. Yeah. End, but me and Jake, we don't give a fuck. Keep watching no, us no. win. Watch us. Watch us, yo. Watch yeah. watch us grow. Yeah. 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 That's all I gotta say. But the funny thing about haters, like, you guys haven't had any haters yet. Like <laughs> legit coming. online haters. Co- hey, hey, hey. No, I'm telling you, like, they're coming. Yeah, honestly, I'm I'm the kind of guy, dude. I brush a lot of shit off. Like, I never let put it. But if we're being brutally honest, you still get a little quirk out of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a little, like, a little, <laughs> little, like, oh, this motherfucker, you know what I mean? Kind of goes through your head, but then you realize, okay, whatever. And also, bad comments are good comments, right? Yeah. As long as you're commenting, go ahead and talk shit. You're, you're helping the algorithms. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know hey, I mean? if, you, if you took the time to watch our video and comment, thank you. Or like, I, Good news or bad, whatever. Yeah. Thank you, because I, I don't give a fuck. I just, just so you guys all know, we smile when all the haters go on and look at our stuff. You don't have to like it. You don't have to yeah. know, but you're looking at our shit, spending your time. Yeah, and we appreciate that. Thank do we, you. Adam? Yes, yeah. thank yeah. you. Yeah. Hey, thank muchos you. gracias, as yeah. we say. Shout out to the haters. Yep. Shout out to the haters, baby. Let's do so, this. Um, Jake, what's up? Go ahead, Joe. Well, you fucking asshole, bro. <laughs> 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 Go ahead, Joseph. Dude, last time I was pretty baked. So I know you were, dude. dude. I, I know you were. This, fu- this chooch was tranked, bro. Yeah. yeah, dude. When old boy, um, dude, there was a great little fucking clip about. He thought me and you were like a couple. Like, oh dude, yeah, he went so serious, and we're looking across the table, and he's like, "So you guys are a couple?" And I'm like, well, "Joe's like continuing <laughs> talking." I'm like, "Oh, hold on!" Like, <laughs> oh, dude, it was great. <laughs> Explain yeah. yourself. Hold on, and he's like, know. "Yeah, I'm like, because yeah. oh, I'm sitting here, and I realize, yeah, they're wearing matching shirts." <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> and he was serious. Yeah, he was like, "So how long have you guys been?" Together? Oh, we were matching shirts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, Speaking of which, we didn't do a photo shoot. <laughs> no, none of that. Yeah, but, hashtag loaded. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what you said? I'm ready to get the fuck out of here. I'm hungry. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was like, yeah, me too. But that was like an odd one because like we, it was like autopilot. We were all hanging out, and then he just came in, sat down. Like there was no like kind of bullshit. Yeah, like, yeah. All right, let's go. And we're all like, uh, like it was just a little. Well, weird. he told me when we talked. He told me he goes, uh, hey guy. He goes, hey. It was great. He goes, I had a great fucking time. And he goes, I go, we got to shoot a next one because the sound. Ball. He goes, yeah, for, I'll come on. I'll come on. He's let me know when. I'm always down. I was like, all right, cool. And then he goes, uh, he goes, it's good because you know, like on Rogan, they have the night before Rogan, like they usually have dinner with Joe or something yeah, like that. They're visiting. And I go, like well, that. we just had that now. So yeah. now we're good. I you go, know what I trip out on Joe's? Uh, dude, they're like three, three and a half hours long. Some yeah. of them, yeah. But he, he's very good in like, he covers his topics and asks ask questions. But I just trip out on every, and then he'll drop one every day of the week for like two weeks. Yeah. yeah. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, Jesus. I listened to a good like, ass one last night. I, res- Dylan. I respect like his hustle and his grind. Uh, he, 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 he's he, a king of podcasts. He's yeah, the, I was going to say, he's, he's got, he's number one. Yeah, yeah. he's the podcast man. Like, OG too. And no, we're not trying to, you know, be like Joe or whatever, but you can learn a lot from him. Oh, for sure. Well, so dude, that's the angle. On. Billion downloads, he's doing something right. Yeah, much respect, yeah. Joe. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Jerry. We love you. We'd love to have you on one day. So um, we want to use this episode <laughs> or part part of the episode to um, get to know Jake a little bit. 
better than um well we went over um on episode I don't four know now who are uh, we I guess, yeah who are we on episode who are we we um talked about me and adam a little bit yeah and now we get to talk about jake um so let's start from the beginning what's up buddy when did you first discover your where were you born <laughs> what was that born <laughs> los angeles california la what part yeah. of la yeah but wait hold on i, I guess we're gonna get into this but you when did you go to the East Coast? I was younger. We moved out there. My parents were uh, in the tr- ministry. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, so you were ministry. born in California. Ca- yeah, I'm a, Cal- I'm a Cali boy. Okay, and then moved to New York? We moved to East Coast, like Monterey. all over the East Coast. You freaking said Monterey? Yeah. Monterey Park? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Griffin Hospital. Excuse me, Griffin Hospital. My lady, same thing. Yeah. That's why she, she dude, was like... We're family, bro. Yeah. I have a feeling we're family, dude. And that you guys are all the same color? Yeah, that's what I'm... Dude, when I was telling my mom, like I go, the, hey, mom, mom, I go, like, my buddy, my buddy, Adam, I go, my buddy, Adam... His wife made it. So where's she from? I fucking told her. She's like, maybe, maybe. I was, that'd be wild. Yeah, huh. be fucking family, dude. That'd be wild. That she be has fun. a huge family down there. Fucking bunch of cousins and dude, all the the all the aunts and the, the cousins, Valenzuelas. All the, aunts, the Valenzuelas. Yeah, all the aunts and the cu- girl cousins are all beautiful. Oh yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Hell yeah. So you moved to New York at what age? No, we moved to the, we started the first place we moved. Man, so my mom and dad. Uh, well, my dad got out of prison. Shout out to Big Frank. Uh, done serving his time. He went to, you know, I feel like when most G's hit a, catch a case, they turn to so Christ. So you want to talk about that a little? Or? Yeah, sure. I'm all, I'm all about it. So how long was he out of uh, out of your life or missing? He was sure. he was gone for, I think it was like four years. Oh, okay. He was gone. but uh, How old were you at this point? Oh, man. I was probably six, seven, eight. So you had some nine. time with him before that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, I was younger. I don't yeah. really remember it. But I, do, I remember like my dad always provided and he always had like you know he would show up with big bags of Christmas. Who knows where he got them from? But big bags of Christmas presents. Doesn't you know? matter. At that yeah, point, yeah, but he took care of us. You know, so we remember. Like he always hustled. My dad always worked, and uh, and uh, he uh, you know he went. He got locked up. He went to uh, Folsom, and uh, we would go visit him. It was funny. So <laughs> yeah, we would go up to Folsom and visit him. And he looked like Bull from Over the Top. Remember Over the Top with Stallone when they arm wrestled? Can My dad got out of prison. Big old ball. Can you tell dude. us what he went to prison for. Yeah, robbery. Oh, okay. Robert, yeah. Um, oh, his wild boy, huh? Oh, dude. Are you kidding me? My dad was a bouncer. My dad was a bouncer at the club. That's how I met my mom. My mom was a hippie from East LA. They met at a bar. My dad was a bouncer and thinks they know him. They, they both were both um, Valenzuelan? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no Valenzuelan full. <laughs> what? Da- That's the last name? Valenzuela. Valenzuela. Is the last name. No, yes. my mom's Ramos. My dad's Valenzuela. Okay. Gotcha. And then, um, uh, yeah, so they, you know, they met, whatever. So when he got out, he kind of. Like I, like I said earlier, when most G's catch a case, they usually turn to Christ. That's usually how that works. And uh, he became uh, a big good. time, big time born again Christian, big time to the point where we had a house in San Bernardino, California, on Bonnie Street. And uh, Bonnie Street, yeah, <laughs> yeah, on Bonnie Street. And he sold it. That's a famous street in San, San Bernardino. Bernardino. Yeah, he sold it. He sold everything. We, see, I mean, he sold. Everything. So he got away from it. He got away. Yeah, from it he sold everything, and we, my, they went hardcore into the men's home. Uh, my dad was a director, so he was a, like a men's rehabilitation center, rehabilitation center. So he got into what he was yeah. like. He's familiar. So with. he was all from like we went to my my mom and dad went to Victory Outreach. I never heard of that church. Yeah, yeah, they went there. They're they were up here. They were yeah. They're everywhere. They were home directors there for a long time. That's why I never messed around with like meth and and all that shit, the poison that destroys the world. I seen what it did at a young age. So I'd be like six years old, not even now, I'll say like nine, eight, in the room with drug addicts, kicking. And I saw, I saw that growing up because my mom and dad were always in the men's home. Like they were the directors. So they were overseeing what's Overseeing, going on, yeah. yeah. And my dad would allow me to go back there and see what happens when you mess around with all that poison, you know? That's cool. That's good for him to let you see. Oh, yeah. I was back there. And, you know, I grew up, I, that's why I always say like gang members, drug addicts, people from the streets. That, those are my people. That's what I grew up around. I grew up with hustlers. I grew up with thugs. I grew up with freaking ex-prostitutes. I grew up with all those people because that's what Victor Outreach took from the you know that the born again Christians, cholos, gang. I grew up with all that. That's like that's him. That's what I knew. So when he would send me back there, there'd be guys pale, throwing up, kicking heroin, kicking meth, kicking uh, coke, not cocaine, but kicking all the hardcore drugs. And I would see the needle marks on their arms. I'd be back there like just tripping out on them as a little kid. And I would be like, man, that's what happens when you fuck up your life, you know? So that's why I never, ever, ever fucked with stuff like that. So I'm grateful for that. So at the time, my parents got called up to go to the Bridgeport, Connecticut. So pretty much little NY. So we moved to Bridgeport. And we sold everything. We had nothing. So we went over there. We grew up, I grew up out there. Best time of my life in the East Coast, NY, Philadelphia. 
you know, it was just best time. Seeing the Rocky statue up front, everyone who knows. Uh, uh, I have a soft spot for Sylvester Stallone of Rocky. He's a big inspiration of mine, his whole story. Uh, when he, uh, when the one thing I'm grateful for my mom, uh, when my dad was locked up, my mom would put me, my mom would put Predator on for me. She would put Karate Kid on for me. She would put Rocky, Rambo, Bloodsport. So, like, that's why I love those guys. And when I was a kid, Jesus, Adam, get it together. When I, when I was a kid, dude, I wanted to have fucking muscles like those fucking guys. I wanted to have muscles like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I wanted to have, fuck, I'll never get abs. But I wanted Stallone's physique. I wanted, like, all those big muscular guys from the 80s. Those guys are, like, my uh, my my icons, you know? So you did that. Did what? You put it right here with weed. Well, when, it was hot. The other day, what, yeah, boy, I went to go, <laughs> I went to I went to follow him up, and I'm like, oh, this other, well, a piece of weed was sitting right here when I oh, pulled shit. the cap off. Oh shit! And I'm like, that's not I'm supposed to go there. So, anyways, yeah. So, my mom like, <coughs> put, like that's why I always tell everybody if you ever watch, ever seen the movie Predator? Yeah, it's yeah. the greatest movie of all time. It's my favorite movie of all time. You want my personality because I'm a Gemini? Because I'm a Gemini? Oh my no, Predator's my you're legit. You're a Gemini? Yes, sir. Hey, hey, just, hey just when they, me. <laughs> why? What's wrong? Uh, uh, Megan's a Gemini. What does that mean? You want to fucking fuck me or blow no, me? What does that mean? That means there's two of you. Oh yeah, that's what what's, you know. You know what? Sometimes what's the alter ego's name? name? Oh, yeah, there's uh, which one you want to meet? Oh Jesus! What's no, the just, main there's, one? Yeah, the main. Uh, there's Jake and Jacob, or uh, there's Jake, there's Jake Ryan, <laughs> Jackie. Jackie. <laughs> there's, there's Jake Ryan. <laughs> Jake Ryan Jake you don't want none of Jake Ryan. That's my middle name. Oh, uh, that's the real deal, Jake. That's Jake Ryan. <laughs> there's Jake Ryan. Uh, Jake Ryan's that guy. Um <laughs> But, but anyways, Megan's was Nikki. Wait, with Nikki? Yeah, I think. What was, was um? What's her name? The young page at the gym. What yeah, was it? Sure. Je- Gemma. Remember that day? We yeah, were yeah. About? Joe did the funniest shit. shit. He like found Paige is what? She's yeah, 19, 18? <laughs> 17. 17. Oh <laughs> shit. Yeah. So Acts twenty. Shout 20. out to shout out to Paige, dude. She does good no, photography. For sure, for yeah, sure. yeah. So Joe's talking to her and asked her when her birthday is or whatever. And she, she told him his birthday, and Joe's like. Like his whole demeanor changed. Oh well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, dude, because when I first met Megan, dude, she was a hard Gemini, dude. She had two personalities for sure. Like well, we have like, multiple. Yeah, well, multiple. But as she's gotten older, she's learned to calm her alter ego. <laughs> she's just Megan now, you know. But um, when I meet a Gemini, I'm like, oh fuck. Like, yeah, Joe's like his his reaction. You could tell. I don't know why, dude. Gemini, his, his right eye twitched. <laughs> yeah, I'm he, you. he went. Yeah, I'm like, like wait, what did I do? He had like a he went through his whole Rolodex of like memories of something happening. Yeah, they're tough. Yeah. Anyways, so anyways, no, we uh, my parents, like I said, so I'm, we, I, I've seen, I've seen it all for as far as moving across country, doing the ministry for like church and Christianity and all that bullshit. So you moved and to Connecticut. You moved to Connecticut, is, hold and on. then worked at another. Is Bridgeport, Connecticut, like a big Brazilian town? No, no, no. It's no? like Puerto Rican, the, fucking mostly Puerto Ricans. There's a there's a t- there's a city in Connecticut that oh, like a lot of Brazilians go to. Hmm. I want. Oh, you're probably thinking of uh, um. Is it new? Is it New Haven? I think it's probably no. Maybe it's not New Haven. I don't know. So we were out there. We were in uh, Bridgeport. Uh, started off in Bridgeport. I mean, my parents sent me to go help out, like on missionary things in New York, and go help out stuff in Philadelphia. And I was like 13, 14. So how far is that from these towns? Like these not far at all. Picture so, yeah, like picture like, like Ontario. Picture no way. yeah, it's like that. Picture Ontario. Picture yeah, like, uh, uh, like D.C., Virginia, and like Massachusetts and um, um, New York. New York. Well, New York's a little farther. Well, yeah, from, but I'm saying how they're but, all just close by. Yeah, they're just super close by. Like it's, it's crazy. like it's like, like it's, it's like it's like us going to freaking Long Beach. Or us LA going, yeah, or, or LA. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't know. That's that. how far it is, dude. I remember my mom would give us change. We get on the freaking train, go down to NYC, or else we get on we whatever. Like especially when we moved to Haven, Connecticut, New Haven, Connecticut, bitching. Loved it there. And then we moved to Boston, Massachusetts. Like, my parents were everywhere. That's why people ask me, like, oh, like, I really don't remember my schooling from, like, I don't know, fourth grade all the way up till when I met JC because we were always moving. I never really, I met, I would meet a guy, meet friends, and then we would move because the church would send us someplace else, which was frustrating. Because I'm like, dude, what about us, dude? Like, we have to have so a life, too. How does that work? Like, yeah. your parents earn an income from the church? Yeah, they would, they would get an income from the church, like, help out, you and know. But they would send, tides, they would send, offering. they would send, <laughs> Sorry, they would send, like, so you need help at a church and they'd send your parents? Yeah. Like, like, how they, does that work? So but they would basically call, because my dad was the best at what he did. At rehabilitating men and making men into like men of God, he was he was dude. My dad was idolized, Big Frank. Like my dad was a big fucking guy, 
traditional tattoo on his arm. Like, but guys, dude, there's guys that came in off the streets, Bloods, Crips, fucking uh, Mexican mob, whatever. And they idolized my dad because my dad was. My dad would raise men. Like he would, some guys didn't have dads so my dad would always you know he included us like there'd be times dude like it was some of the best memories growing up like me and my brother would have assemblies and my dad would bring up all the guys there'd be like fucking 100 dudes fucking cholos gang member whatever black yoked screaming for us at our assemblies dude because we were like there no way yeah dude and pe- <laughs> people would trip out like people would trip the fuck out so there'd be times where so my nino shout out tyro my nino he act big old yoke biker dude. So like how I learned to work out, I used to watch my brother Buck. Shout out to Buck Nasty. Um, uh, my so my dad had the weight set in the backyard at the men's home, and my brother would be back there lifting with these fucking convicts. Then they'd be showing them prison workouts. So my brother would be back there, but I just be sitting playing with my GI Joes. Like I want to get in there, and I tell my you know let me get in there, dude. He'd be like, not yet, you're too little. It's gonna stunt your growth. And I'm like, that's bullshit. Look at fucking Buck. But Buck was fucking. <laughs> 13 years old 250 hitting bench you know God damn. <clears throat> natural strength my brothers had god-given strength and uh uh but that's how it was with us so like dude the, they would take us to school bunch of ex-gang members and chose get out of the car all right you boys have a good day we'd be like all right guys walking to school and they'd be like what the fuck like one time they're like hey your brothers are here to pick you up i'm like oh i gotta go guys my brothers are here have my backpack go walk out my dad had a big ass freaking chevy 80 88 Chevy Trailblazer, raised, badass, called the Beast. And they would all get out and like, come on, let's roll. And they'd be like, what the fuck? Like, the, who are these dudes picking you know them up? You crazy? The Trailblazer is like the K5. Which yeah. Which is the same thing as like the Bronco. Yeah. But now it's like a totally different vehicle. Because I remember like when you said that, picturing that you, that sign on the side of those older Chevys. Yeah, remember? Yeah, Trailblazer. Yeah, Trailblazer, yeah. Right yeah. Right badass. In chrome. In chrome. Yeah. Yeah, so like that's how it was for us. So like we went to the East Coast, same thing. We grew, I grew up around those type of people, like. That's all I know. So when they sent us to Boston is when, man, I forgot what what happened in Boston, what year that was. But we were in Boston. I could tell something wasn't up with my parents. Something wasn't right, you know? And it ended up being me just going, like, to the church by myself. And I'd be like, what's going on? Like, then, of course, my parents were starting to drift. And then when we came back to these – I came back from the West Coast. My dad – I always read my dad wrong that they never gave him the title of pastor. Like, he wanted that for so long. He never got it. He was home director. I thought he was better as a home director. So when we came back to the, my, my grandma, my mom's mom was up here and she lived on the Mesa and uh, she, uh, she was starting to get Alzheimer's. So we came back here with nothing, with nothing. And we moved in with my grandma and my mom and my mom was taking care of her. And then one day I came home from school, my dad was gone. And I was like, what the fuck is going on right now? And my dad just disappeared again. And that's when he, they, in the Christianity, they call it backslided. He backslid. He backslid. So he took off. We didn't see him for a long time. How old were you time. when that happened? I was 15 years old. I was 15 years old. <clears throat> so he was solid all the way up to yeah, this point. Yeah, well, he went you know, prison earlier, yeah, but yeah. He, went, he was a whole different man. So I was like, holy shit, you know. And then at one point, he just disappeared. Did you ever, like, conversate with him about that? Oh, for sure. Like, yeah, yeah. It was, a, it was bad. It was bad. A, did you get a reason? Uh, it was a bullshit reason. Just bullshit. It was a bullshit reason, you know. It was a... Uh, it was, it was just, it was him, my mom's fucking shit. The crazy part is, as fucked up as my parents were, they never, ever fought in front of us. Never. My mom's parents were like that. Old school. Never fought. Old parents. school. Like, they go in the room, and you wouldn't hear anything. You just wouldn't hear anything. So that was kind of like, like what, what the fuck? Like, it was a, it was a culture change to me. So that's when uh, I ended up <laughs> chilling with JC, and uh, I ended up coming back from school, and I just see my mom on her knees, and she was like freaking out. My mom's been a housewife. She never, ever worked a day in her life. So when he emptied the bank account and left, we had nothing. Oh, shit. He did that. Yeah. Too. Yeah. He just disappeared, dude. And I was like, at that point, that's when I really started to get this hate for like religion. And I was like, I don't hate it no more than I'm older, but it doesn't interest me no more. Because I was like, my freaking, I remember how I'd be a kid like crying, like my freaking mom and dad sold everything. And where's the church at? The church ain't here helping us. Like, where's God? He ain't helping us. My mom's bank account. Like, I was going through it. We all were. But my mom always kept her faith and was always, that's the one thing I respect with my mom. Always kept her faith. She was like, well, God will take care of us. And that's when, you know, I started to do my thing. Jake started stepping in. Yeah, I started to step in. First, my, my brother did it legitimately. He became the man of the house. He became like, you know, my brother. Because there was times, man, like when we would go to school or we, we would go school shopping and like one of the worst fucking feelings ever is seeing your mom at the register 
And she's like, go get all what she needs. So we go to Solarware. Remember Solarware? We go to Solarware, get us some freaking skate shoes or get us whatever we needed, some, you know, Dickies or whatever I could, whatever. She'd be like, get what you need, jeans, whatever. And it's on me. And we go there and her car would be declined. And they told her, there's no money in the account, your car. So she'd be like, go put it back. I'm sorry. Mm, I've been there. And I, I, I would look at her and I'd be like, mom, I remember she'd be in the front seat crying. I'd be like, mom, it's all right. Like, it's cool. Like, we're good. We're good. And, she, and she, I mean, it happened on multiple times. To the point where when she would say, dude, and mind you, my dad's nowhere near. My dad's gone. Yeah. He's gone financially. He's gone physically. He's gone emotionally. Like, he's gone. So, we, dude, we go up to, we go up to the, the register multiple times to the point where we'd be like, for what? Damn, it's just going to never You never forget that feeling. Oh, no. And that's a feeling I will never, ever, ever let my kids experience. Never. And that's a feeling I will never experience myself. That's why I work so goddamn hard. Because I'll never have that feeling again. Neither will my children. And, uh... So that would happen all the time. And, you know, she stood up. She started freaking working multiple jobs at once. And, uh, you know, we never saw her. She was hustling. That's why if you guys go back and check the old pod or one of the old episodes, I was talking about how, uh, you know, I had, a, you know, I started slanging weed. But I knew my limits. Why? Because what I saw when I was a youngster, don't fuck around with meth. Don't fuck around with heroin. Don't none of that shit. Don't slang it. Don't mess with it. So, you know, I would slang my pot, whatever. I did my thing. I hustled in high school. I hopped out wherever I could. My brother stepped up legitimately. And, you know, right after high school, he went in to start working and he would buy my school clothes for me. He would provide. He would buy groceries. Like, he, my, my brother Buck would always come through like that, which was pretty cool now that, I, now that I'm older. I appreciate that more of him. Yeah. And, um, like, because he did. He didn't have to do that. You know, he had to go fucking buy me school clothes or right. help out, but he did. Right. He was a brother. He was a big brother. Right. And, uh, you know, it got to the point where I was like, man, I was so freaking fueled up with anger and hate towards my dad because my dad would show up every once in a while, play the game with my mom, and then bounce. So, and, and that happened multiple times, like to the point where we get mad at her, like, what are you fucking doing? Like, have some respect for yourself. Like, don't worry about us. Why are you letting that motherfucker come over here and, and, and just use you and leave? To go be with something like it, it was bad. Like it was bad. Like he wasn't there financially. He wasn't there at all. It was just but he would show up and we'd just be like, What's up? What's up, Dad? And he'd just take off again. That's all it was. Till one day he got sick and uh, he had to settle down with one of his women, you know. But there dude, like I said, my life was hectic at one point. To the point where I had so much anger and hate towards him, my mom put me in boxing. And that was like the biggest blessing ever. Because when I got in the ring and fight, all I saw was him. And that was my motivation. Like, I wanted to fucking kill him. I wanted to murder him for everything that he put us through, everything that he did. And 56 and 9, that was my record. And, uh, you know, 54 knockouts. And, uh, I, you know, I fought like a motherfucker in boxing. I excelled at it. I was great. I, got, I wanted to box in the army. We talked about that on the last pod. I wanted to box in the army. And uh, I wanted to be the first Hispanic heavyweight champion. And, How and, long uh, was your uh, boxing? I fought from when I was f- fuck fifteen all the way to two thousand nine. Yeah, my last fight, two thousand nine, and uh, we've. I, I mean, I fought at. I mean, I've been everywhere. I've been. Uh, so in your twenties, you were fighting. Yeah, and then uh, uh, I've been everywhere, everywhere. I mean, I fought down Trump twenty nine casino. That was probably the highlight of my career. One of the best times of my life. I fought on Universion Telemundo, and uh, because it was a tournament, I was like, dude, it was the best time. Uh, never lifted weights because I wasn't allowed to. I always ran. I did, you know, boxing. And, and I was a heavyweight, so I was 260, 265 in that range. And uh, it was a good time, man. And then, uh, you know, I met my kid's mom when I was 18. And and uh, we got married when I was 20. Uh, I think I was 21 after my little girl was born. And uh, at that time, you know, I started working uh, at the, 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 the warehouse uh, doing logistics. And Has it been there that long? Yeah. Wow. I've been there for a while now, man. I didn't. Know, I remember when it got built. It was a big deal for this town. It yeah. Was, it was a big logistics building. Yeah. That you know what I mean. Like produced a lot of jobs. But yeah. I was gonna like I was I was I was gonna go into the army. I really wanted to go in the army and box, but I never did, and I regret that. And uh, yeah, you know, I've done so many things in between. I was gonna take a shot at MMA. Never really did it. Never bit. But I really wanted to do it. But like my, my son always tells me now, why did you stop boxing? I was like, well, because I had to provide. You know, it's kind of hard when you're you put your kids first. Yeah. You know, it's kind of hard when you go fight in Vegas Saturday night and then you come back and you got two broken thumbs and you can't work. Yeah. And so I got to go to Kaiser and Kaiser's got to cast me up and I got to go out. I break off the cast and I go train because I still wanted to fight, but I also had to be a dad. So at some point you got to just move your happiness aside 
and do what you got to do as a father. And um, I started doing that. And uh, yeah, do I have some regret? A little bit. But in the end, I am who I am today. It is what it is. And uh, through this time, you know, I've had a crazy, uh, I've had a crazy, crazy wild life, man. Uh, my dad came back in my life <laughs> and uh, I used to do crazy jobs for him because my dad was bouncing a lot from woman to woman. So I would break into girls' houses and take his stuff out while he'd be on a date with him and moving into his other girlfriend's house. Yeah, that's the type of shit my dad had me do. But that's the type of shit I was doing to earn his, to, so I can be in his You're life. Just wanted the relationship. I just want to be around my dad, you yeah, know? Yeah. I'm so like, you if you need me to go break in your hose's house, I'll do it, you know? Like there was this one time me and my mom were just talking about it, we were laughing. Me, my brother, my boy, <laughs> we... My dad was with this chick, and he fucking hated her after a while. He's like, I hate this bitch. I got to get out of here. I'm like, all right, boss, what's, what's the plan? He's like, we're going to go down to a, on a date. We're going to get on the freeway. You guys are going to roll up in the U-Haul and start loading up my shit. We're like, we got you, right? And he'd pay us. All I wanted to do was be by my dad. And uh, so we, we, she's gone, dude. My, bro, my brother is chilling on the pool deck. We're smoking a joint. My boy Scott's in the house making a Sammy, and we're like chilling. And next thing you know, he calls us up on the cell. He's like, she's coming. She threw me out on the freeway. Like, my papa was a rolling stone, bro. My dad was a rolling stone. And we're like, evacuate, evacuate. So we load up the fucking U-Haul. We take off and go drop him at his chick's, one of his side chick's house. And I mean, as other chick's house, as other chick's, not even say side, his other chick's house, his other chick's house. Like, it was, that's how my relationship was with my dad. Jeez. Only when he needed me, you right. know? And then, like I said, he ended up getting sick. And Papa had to calm down, and uh, he became uh, the man I, I kind of got close with later on, you know. And uh, while he was sick, though, yeah, yeah. and uh, because he, I think it humbled him, you know, it humbled him big time. And he couldn't drive his muscle car, uh, he couldn't, uh, he just couldn't be Big Frank no more. And I think that was a blow to him, you know. But my dad always, uh, my dad adored Boo Boo. Boo Boo's his only grandson, and he carries his name. And Boo Boo adored him. Yeah, Boo Boo loved my dad. My dad loved Boo Boo. And, uh, you know, my dad was always, you know, my dad, like when you said, did we have that talk later on? He told me, you know, he told me, he came true yeah, to himself. he told me that, uh, you know, uh, him and my mom weren't as good as they appeared and, um, they, uh, they never slept together and, uh, it was just rough on him, but he apologized for how he did it and how he left. And, uh, I never forgave him. I told him, well, I'm not forgiving you. Like. I, I get your I get your your my mom's meltdown. I get that. Without but that had kids. nothing to do with us. Yeah. Like that didn't do right. shit. I didn't do shit to us. Yeah. Like you sold us this dream about Christianity and that God would always have us and we looked up to you like you were our goddamn foreman. So when when he backslid, they called Yeah, it? that's what they called it. He never came back. Never came. Well, he came back later on when he got sicker. But not for a while. Yeah, not for a while. Not for yeah, he went back to being big Frank, boy. Like he was slanging pipe i mean there was times where he had my brother in the car bro he'd be piping a chick down in the house and he'd come back out in the car my brother would be like so how was it like that's how it was dude that's not good parenting oh dude he was he was that's why i say like everything on how i am now yeah. i try and be the opposite of what my dad was you know that's why i'm really big on my son i'm really big on my kids i try and be in my kid's life as much as possible as far as their sports as far as their schooling my daughter's theater i just want to be there because yeah, no, I you seem like that. a good dad, and especially when you see you and Boo Boo together. You know, yeah. like he definitely looks up to you. You know, yeah, he might him. give you shit, but I adore him. It's crazy because it's me and my dad. Like that's the relationship I really wanted with my dad. But I got that later on in life. You know, with my dad, and uh, you know, when he would give me so much advice, he'd give me so much shit. Uh, he would always tell me when I bench, he's like, I can put up more. Always, oh, he called me in the morning because he knows I like going in the mornings. <laughs> you know, and he would call me and he would be like, "What'd you hit today?" But I'm all fucking, uh, I hit this. He'd be like, with your skinny ass legs or your little legs, chicken legs. My dad had some badass legs on him, dude. Like, Oh, you didn't get them? Oh, no. I think Boo Boo got them, dude. That's not fair. Um, but anyways, yeah. So that's how that was. And, and uh, me and him became closer as I, as I got older. And uh, I went to him a lot of advice. And then, you know, I separated from my kid's mom. In uh, like 2015, we separated. And because uh, I just, you know, it just, it wasn't working for me. And it wasn't working for neither of us, you know. I fucked up as a husband, and uh, it just wasn't. It just it wasn't doing it. And you know, I, I we tried it again, and uh, there was no change. But we continued to lap. We continued to make it work. And uh, would like, you would you say for the kids or you? Yeah, or I would say honestly, that? honestly for the kids. And uh, uh, it sucks because like you know, uh, she's first of all she's a great mom. She's she is. 
uh, one of the mama moms. She's a great mom to her kids, and I appreciate that because that's one less thing I don't have to worry about. You know, is the fact that my babies are taken care of, and I support that, and I will always back her to the end of the world for that. She is a hell of a mom, hell of a mom, and uh, so we, like I said, we end up getting back together in all this time, and uh, you know, it, this through the last couple years, it was pretty rough as far as you know. My dad passed away. My dad passed away. That was rough. That fucked me up big time, and uh, because I didn't get to say goodbye to him, and uh, we were kind of beefing at the time, because that's the crazy thing with me and my dad. Yeah, we got closer when we got older, but me personally, like, whenever he was acting, whenever I saw that asshole, I distanced myself because I didn't want my kids to get hurt. I didn't want my kids to see that, you well, know. And then you take it personally. Yeah, like you like you're like, hey, I want to like I want to talk to you. Yeah, dude. You know, yeah, it's different. And, and like, like, like out of my out of all my siblings. <sighs> I'm the one that always spoke up, boo boo. I'm the one that always spoke up, you know, always had to speak up, always had a question. That's just how I was. And uh, it wasn't disrespectful, it's just how I was. And, uh, uh, you know, he, uh, we, we ended up getting over into it some, some bullshit. And um, I didn't talk to him for like a while, like probably like two months. And in the past, when we would do our little goes, he, he never reached out. But this time he was reaching out. You know, to me, and I was like, I'm cool. I'm cool. I don't want to talk to you. Like, I'm good. Tell my grandson I love him. Okay, I will. Like, you know, and then one day I came home from work, and uh, I was barbecuing, and my sister called me and said they're rushing Pop to the hospital. And I, like, dropped everything, got in the freaking car, hauled ass to the freaking hospital, hauled ass to the hospital, and then right when I pulled into Desert Valley, uh, I got the phone call that he died. So I walked in. My brother's having a panic attack. He's sitting down. I go over here. I tell him, like, hey, your, your girls are watching. Get it together. Like, come on. Let's calm down. I'm hurting too. Let's calm it down. Because my brother's big. My brother's big. So, and, you know, he, I, just, I worry about him. Because I'm the only one in my family that doesn't have high blood pressure, diabetes, you know. It's because I work out. And that's something I took. I take really serious. That's why I, t I don't fuck. I take that real serious. That's why, like, people don't understand, like, when you go train, like, the gym, I take that serious because I like to, it's, I want longevity. I want to hold my grandchildren. I, I, I want that, you know. I don't want to leave my, my grandkids like the way my dad left his. I want to be there. I want to see their accomplishments. I, I want to see all that. And uh, anyways, I went in the room with his corpse and I sat there with him and, I, you know, I sat there and talked with him for a while and my mom was there, which was pretty cool because at this point they weren't together. They were officially divorced and he was remarried and. I sat there with him and uh, I talked to his body, man, and I, you know, I told him I love him and uh, that I was sorry, and uh, you know, I, I'm gonna live with this for the rest of my life, and uh, I did, I have, and uh, it was pretty rough, man, losing him, cause uh, I felt like I finally got my dad back, you know, and then he was gone, and that kind of made me like, what the fuck, dude? Like, do you hate me? You know, that's how I was. Like, do you hate me? And then I was just telling Joe earlier. And then four months after, four months later after that, my mom got stage four colon cancer. So it was wild. It was just a hectic time for everyone. And uh, it was probably one of the toughest times in my life. And uh, it was just rough. And, um, you know, losing uh, her, just burying my father. And we're over here trying to keep Nana alive now. It was just a crazy time in my life. And uh, but it taught me a lot. It really showed me how to just slow the fuck down, okay. be more calm. Be more don't don't panic under chaos like think under pressure kind of like the way i used to be when i fought i just think under pressure you be calm don't you know that's just how i that's i think that really changed my uh my outlook on life i made me appreciate it even more you know as far as physical health that's why i, I go to the gym baby get you, work out yo it's important take care of your take care of what whoever gave you the, this temple take care of it yeah. Like take care of it. Take care of you know, I don't do the best at it, but I still do it as best as I can. You know, do I struggle with my diet? Who doesn't? You know? Uh but that's what really showed me that, you know, and, and then like here we are all these years later and, and uh you know, mom's good. Mom's good, she's cancer free. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, nice. mom's cancer free. Shout out Mama V. And uh avid pothead, avid pothead. Nice. We love her. We love her. She Good smokes job, all the time. Oh, she loved that pen, by the way. She told me to tell you thank you. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, I remember the one I told you in front of my mom. Yeah. Yeah, she loves it. She's like, that hit that thing. I was done. I was yeah. She like puts <laughs> on Rolling Stones. Oh, bro. She yeah. That's what One I said. Yeah. yeah. Hey, she uh, there there was a time. So this was funny. We went to her cancer appointment. Funny story. We went to one of her cancer appointments and we're leaving. And I'm like, she's like, spark that up. I'm like, Ma, wait. She's yeah, like, we're nice. in the we're in the school. We're in the hospital parking lot. So we go to the Jack in the Box. She's like, spark it up, bro. And put on Rolling Stones. So I put on Rolling Stones. We're sitting in my car. And we're smoking. Just shooting the shit, talking. And she's all, hey, 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 I'm like, what? What? And she's like, cop, cop. <laughs> and I'm like, it's legal. <laughs> Calm down. And she's cop. like, no, nah, uh, you're trying to set me up. She's dude. all whispering. She's, like you're, trying to, she's like, you're trying to set me up, dude. She <laughs> passed me the joint. I'm like, relax. I go, ma, he comes up to the window. I just took my cancer-ridden mom to the hospital. We're good. Relax. And she's just like, nah, I'm not doing it. That's she's like, flicked it. But anyways, um, you know. Uh, so that's pretty much how it, this has been. Like everyone knows, Boo Boo. I love Boo Boo. That's my baby boy. I got my baby girl. I got Joshua. I love you, boy. Uh, those are my kids, and um, uh, you know, I uh, say it. Keep it together. Say it. Yeah, you got it. Say it. Yeah, I um, you know where I'm at now. You guys know where I'm at now. Want to play- talk about that a little bit? Sure, I'll talk about it. Uh, you know, recently, uh, uh, we're, I'm single, you know, uh, time to be happy after 20 years. No, uh, after man, I couldn't even tell you maybe like it's less than that. It's probably like 16, 17, so that's that's a long yeah, time. 17. Yeah. yeah you You're know, 38. Yeah. That's more than half your life. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, you come, you, you, you come to the point where, uh, you just got to be real. You just got to be real, you know? And um, So you're t- just like tired of living unha- unhappy? Yeah. You got to be a peace. I feel like know? it takes two to be happy. Oh, yeah. And what I want for her, I want her to be happy. I want her to be with somebody who gives her all she needs, makes her happy in every su- every way that she wants. I want her to have that. And I mean that I, on the bottom of my heart. Because why? That's my kid's mom. And I want my kids. I want. I wanted my kids to see a healthy relationship, not not what they were giving, not what they were getting. You know, I really wanted that, and uh, and I appreciate everything she's done for me. Everything, how, how everything she's done, I appreciate it. Like once again, she's an amazing mom, and uh, you know. But sometimes, like I said, a triangle don't fit in a circle, and uh, you keep forcing it as many times as possible, man. You keep forcing it. You keep forcing it. It just doesn't work. And at some point, you just got to be happy. Because it sucks being on, like, being anxious, anxiety in your own home, being unhappy in your own home, portraying something that's not there. It sucks. And at some point, you just got to be real, yeah. you know? And it sucks, dude. It sucks. It does suck, but, you know, it is, it is what it is. It's, it's, it's the end of something that was bad. It's going to be the beginning of something that's good. And that's how I look at it. And, um, you know, I want to be there for my babies as much as possible. I want to be there. I just like I'm really focusing on being are, a better a better dad. Are all the kids still in the house? Yeah, they're yeah, they, they have everything. Oh, but the, the kid, all the kids live there still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they uh 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 yeah, I just want my kids to have normalcy. I want my kids to be happy. I want my kids to see a healthy version of a relationship. And like I said, I've 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 failed a lot in life. I failed a lot. You know, I've also won a lot. You know, one of the things I failed at was being a husband. And I'm okay with that. I I, I own that up. I, I I'm not sitting there saying I'm perfect. No, but I did fail as a husband for sure. And communication, that's one thing in the future that I really feel like from experience that if you don't have good com- communication with your partner, it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. You know, I feel like you need to have somebody in your life that's going to be with someone that fits your your what what's that what's that saying? Be with someone that fits your soul, not your ego. I think, you know? like, I think we talked that's about this the other good. night. Yeah, that's actually a good saying, Jake. Like, it makes real sense. Um, like, at an older age, you set your boundaries as yeah. the person you are. You're not really looking to chase, like, the chick. And, like, you find something that works for your boundaries. Or, like, hey, this is who I am. You bring it to the table, the plate, and this is what I offer. Yeah. And you realize, like, what is acceptable for you and what's not. So you're not out there kind of, like, 
chasing the whole game or the field. No. You know what I mean? Like no. you kind of realize like, all right, this is, you meet a chick, you might, you might not, but you at least have your boundaries set for what you're looking for mm-hmm. and the type of person you are. Where when we're young, you get with a chick. Young, dumb, and full of cum. Yeah, you get with like all you, you, you know, you get with the chick not based on any of that. Nope. You know what I mean? It's because you like it. Yeah. Lust. It's more of a lust thing. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. So granted, we've all had great luck like picking a partner, um, mother of kids, you know, whatever. I'm blessed to have a great partner in my life. Like I can give a shout out to Gabby all the time. Like she's great. Um, but like I think as an older age, and that's why you see more, I think, older people single mm-hmm. because they set their boundaries and they can't, can't, like get it set like, yeah i have a good buddy i'm not gonna name him names he's a fucking smart dude successful business guy fucking everything's tits like you know when we talk about people like dude he keeps his shit legit raises a son proper but never has a girl and he's just like dude i haven't been able to meet a chick i want my son like to bring home and stay with me like yeah. where i'm comfortable and he's good looking everything you know what i mean but he just said like you know like at that older age you have your boundaries and you respect them yeah yeah i just honestly um, if I were to, if I were to go that route, it's gotta be somebody that's later on somebody with kids for sure. You gotta understand that. Like that's number one, yeah. you know, you gotta understand that number one, my kids are my world, I work and my kids. That's, that's all I want to do is have my kids be better and successful. And I want to give them the tools in every aspect to do that, um, to be better than me. That's what I want as a father. And, um, like I said, uh, you know, for their mom. I want the best for her and I just, I want her to be happy because, you know, I, I feel like she, she deserves someone. She deserves someone. She does. We all do. We all do. You know, yeah. we all do. She deserves someone. She deserves well, to be happy. I, not everyone. <laughs> but Actually. I mean, <laughs> everybody's responsible for your own happiness as well. For sure. You know what I mean? So There's no kinda... fate, but what we make for ourselves, baby. I, I stand by that. Like, I don't, hashtag Terminator. Dude, I mean, relationships are a lot of work. They are. Uh, you know, it's not something that, you know... <laughs> And especially if you do meet someone that you kind of, you know, really vibe with, even then, like you move in together, you guys have different habits, you know, and there's, it takes a while to kind of get on the same rhythm. Again, you know, again, you know, I I think there's like a five year period when you're going through that. Yeah. Once you like date a chick and then you move in, you're still all excited. You're happy, like going through things, but it's like a five year. I always say three, but five does make sense too. Like, I just felt like five five years, you really realize like, all right, I can be with this person or like, that's my, in my head. You know what I mean? Like in my, with me and my chick dude, it was like a breeze for the first five years. It was great. So at that point you're like, all right, let's make some more, you know life decisions to try to be like get after this yeah but everybody's road is different yeah you know like and i'm gonna be you know i love like one of the things i i can't miss is going to the gym i cannot miss going to the gym because that keeps my that literally keeps you know we talked we joked about oh the men and their demons and uh, and, uh we get it you know but you know i like going there because yeah i like to work hard i like to test myself i like to i like to believe that the way i grew up the way i was raised i'm able to go that little extra mile that's how things that I experienced in life. I'm able to go that little extra mile. Just I'm able to take a little bit more, you know, in life. I'm able to handle a little bit more and go that little extra level. I'm able to do that for everything that I experience. And right now, I'm I'm in a I'm in a restart mode and I'm all about it. Because like I said, all I want to do is be better. I want to be better physically. I want to be a better dad. I want to be better. I just want to be better. I want to be every day I want to be better. And and I just I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy, man, and um, that's all I really want. I just want to be happy. I want my kids to be happy, and yeah, that's just that's my goal. You know, I want to be successful. I love doing this pod with you guys. I feel like this pod has been a blessing in my life. Thank you guys for it. Like, thank you guys for, like, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what made you guys uh, want to do this with me. I don't know. I don't know what made you guys want to invest your time with me because I know you guys are pretty busy, and uh, and I appreciate that. I appreciate everything both of you guys do because you guys are uh, you guys are big influences in my life. Believe it or not, I feel like you guys came in my life at the right time. I Dude, mean, your I mean story that. is so good. I like I teared up for a few times. I was like, oh no, don't cry, Joe. <laughs> are you being serious? <laughs> for seriously, like Just, yeah, when you brought some shit, I mean, because I felt similar things, you know, growing up, and so I, I kind of started. I was like, oh man, I was like, Joe. Psh- it's a weed. It's a weed. <laughs> well, you know I, what, dude? Like I said, I'm, 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 I, and I, I, I want to say, dude, like, thanks for saying and being honest because I guarantee you, like, a lot of people listening to this will be like, damn, I, I know what he's talking about. Like, I've been, yeah, you that, definitely, you know? um, open my eyes to more of who you are. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Just so you know, like, I see you and we bullshit and talk and everything's gravy. Mm-hmm. 
because like that's we're just trying to be happy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and be, for sure. And, and, you know, and, and indulge in each other's happiness or whatever. But I didn't know all that. You know what I mean? It's yeah. good to learn that. And if for everybody, the viewers, to listen, just a little more side of it, what we are and who you are. Yeah. We're just human. You we are. I mean? We all we're all from walks of life, man. Yeah. We all, we're all, all, we all walk different. Life. All walks of life. I've but, I lived up. I've lived like I said. I'm only 38 years old, but I lived a pr- pretty chaotic, crazy life. And I mean, you know, I've done things like with JC. I've done modeling. You know, I fought on TV. Like I've done some crazy. I podcasted. I've done YouTube, and uh, man, I you know I fought. I fought on TV. Like I'm pretty happy where I'm at right now. I'm pretty. All, I'm happy with the person I'm. Um, I, I am now the man I am now, especially the man I am now. I, I, I love the fact that I'm a, I'm an old school man. I smoke cigars. I lift weights. He lifts T. What does it say? He eats T bone steaks. He lifts barbell plates. He's sweeter than a German chocolate cake. You know, <laughs> <laughs> his name's Jake. Um, uh, but anyways, uh, but you know, that's just I'm an old school kind. I'm an old ha- school man. Have you dude. heard how um, women are telling people or other women to not date men with the whose names start with J. I saw a They're video. known as like the heartbreakers of like relationships. Uh, they leave like marks on women. You know what yeah. I mean? They just, uh, just by a name? Yeah, yeah. Show? And the, the biggest one is I Jake. 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 Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was the same as you, Joe. <laughs> I know, dude. Yeah, my dad's name, middle name was Joe, bro. <laughs> Joseph. Yeah. Shout so, out to the Joes. Yeah, shout out Joe to the cools. Joes. But yeah, yeah man, I, I, I don't know. Like I said, I enjoy doing this podcast. Um, I love that you guys know my son. My son, my son, my son loves you guys too, and uh, it's cool. Like the other day, we were walking out of the gym, and uh, you know, someone right there told me like, "Hey, man, love the pod, love the pod." And that's that's I, I, I know, guys. I'm I'm a I know I'm a I'm an intimidating looking dude. I'm a big I'm a big son bitch. I got tattoos. I got beautiful hair, beautiful beard. Um, I know beautiful that. Eyes. I get it. I get it. Yeah, my little eyes. I Never get it. I Doesn't Jake eyes. Jake wears like a. Um Pretty, not fit, fit. Well, you have a shirt. What oh, strong it? and pretty. Yeah, because Tommy used to point it out. He's like, "Hey, have you seen the big guy's strong and pretty shirt?" Like, it's on my how, Yeah, before we knew you, we yeah. like, noticed it. Oh, always. I'm strong and pretty. That's yeah. a, uh, it's like a tank. Is it a tank top? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a whole. It's a Robert Oberst, former Power Man, uh, strong man. It's his clothing brand, and I'm like, dude, that's me, baby, because I'm strong and I'm pretty. Yeah. So you know, uh, Facts. I, I've always, I've always, I, I, I've, I've gone attached to that brand. Always, it just fits me. And um, but anyways. Yeah, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm pretty excited for what's happening right now. And like I said, I know guys, when you guys see me in the gym and I'm in my zone and I'm, I'm bumping Nipsey Hustle, and uh, I'm in my, yeah, and that's honestly, that's like a, one of the biggest, uh, his, I don't know if you ever, you ever listen to Nipsey Hustle? Yeah, I listen to Nipsey. Uh, I, you, I know you don't. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, his he, shit is very motivating. Patient, yeah, he, oh my, get rid of the middleman, be your own boss. Who's that sound like? You know? Get, and you, <laughs> get, uh, but get rid of the middleman. Be your own boss. Like get yours. Like fuck. Like, that's. I listen to him a lot. It motivates me, especially to do this podcast more. Yeah. And um. But uh. You know, guys. Like I said, when I'm in the gym and you guys come up to me and you guys tell me how much you love the pod, thank you guys so much, man. Because your boy could be having a bad day from work or a bad day in his personal life, and when you guys tell me that, fuck, it brightens my fucking day, man. It really yeah, does. Cool, thank you guys. Man. It's a great. Great, great feeling. It lights us all up. It does, man. Yeah. It does, especially when you told me, uh, uh, oh boy, you, a friend of yours didn't work out, and he's like, I motivated him to start working out again. Like, that's great, man. That's. I don't know about again, but to start working out. <laughs> well, let's hope he stays consistent. Yeah. No, I mean, if it's, it's out, if it's affecting people like that, that's we're not really trying to like. That hat right there like, is. Just be out. Yeah, that's seven oh, gang. Yeah, yeah, that's seven gang. <laughs> Shout out to seven gang. We're just trying to be authentic and tell you what we do. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know what I mean, that's yeah. what works for us. Yeah, it makes you. Yeah. you know, you know yeah. what's crazy? Like, the gym really changes. You. Like, you see all these posts and all this blah 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 about it. You know what I mean? And people, I'm sure, outside of it, like, oh, these people think, but like, really, it does something for you mentally and physically. Like, it makes the, you confident. Yeah, like yeah, you, nice. you can be going yes. through anything in life, and like it totally changes. Like it deflects it. Like kind of. Well, like, what do they like, say? The endorphins. It doesn't the endorphins uh, from working out in the morning. It, it gets rid of depression or it gets rid of something. That's what I've heard. That's bro science for you. I mean, dude, like uh, I was talking to Justin about this today about um, people need to stay for 90 days. It takes it takes 90 days to see change. It's like 100. They say 100, the 100 Jocko. No, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, okay, but like typically like when you when you do a cycle, 
three months. Yeah. Typically, when you when you're gonna do a cut, it's like a three month cut. Like it yeah. generally works in three months, right? So like that ninety days, if someone wants to lose weight, they will probably have a good chance of depending on how overweight they are or how much weight they need to lose, I should say, um, to get to that six pack, they're going to see it after 90 days. And so, but people always quit after the 30, 60 days and never get to the 90. But yeah. once you see the results, that's when it's like addicting. You know what I mean? Cause it, you know that bro science where he's yeah. like the day you start working out is the day you're forever small. Well, you know, what's the <laughs> biggest bro science of all time that I never followed at all was smoking and working out. I never did it. I never crossed the line because I've always intense. I have my AirPods in my ear, like fucking listening to Metallica or Nipsey Hustle, like, ah, like let's get this. So, do you guys indulge every day before the gym? I do. I Joe, have to. I know Joe's kind of been Joe on. is uh, my boy Bobby's the one that got me on it, and then Joe kind of like when he like the day we hit the wax, I was probably one of the best workouts of my fucking life. <laughs> like I was in the I'm, mirror, like I'm growing. Saturdays for sure because I don't work, but. Uh, yeah, weed will eventually make me tired, so I gotta be careful. And like, yeah, what time I start smoking? So lately, I've been smoking on Saturdays because I go in a little earlier. Yeah, and like, I'll, I just for some reason always on the way out the door, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, Saturday. Yeah, and I go to the gym. I'm maybe not as like, you know, get all, but I'm like very mellow and get through my set. It's I feel like crazy. you're like real focused on your sets a little more. Yeah, like you're, you're, you're more my aware. my muscle connection. Yes, my it's... muscle connection. So I have a question about that, boys, because I feel like I'm getting a little bit more of that. Like sometimes when I'm working out, I could really feel the muscle I'm using. Yeah, like kind of yeah. in tune with it. I notice it comes in waves. So you'll have a wave of like period where you're like really focused on your muscles, and then all of a sudden you'll kind of start like breaking away a little bit and then you'll come back to it it's kind of like you it's like you almost forget because you get comfortable Mm -hmm. like eric almost dropped the weight on his face the other day and he was freaking out in the gym over it and i told him i was like you're just too comfortable you know what I mean? He's like, you're right. He's Wasn't like, yeah. it like three fifteen? I did it too, but thank God it was only one thirty five. Wasn't yeah. it three fifteen? Yeah, yeah, I think he had three fifteen on there. One thirty five, Joe. You almost dropped on. No, there. I was showing someone an example because they were <laughs> lifting wrong. Wow! And so and I had then you almost killed yourself in the process. <laughs> wow! Dude, it rolled off my wrist because I was being, like I said, I'm just so comfortable yeah. with that. I was being lazy, right? No thumbs. Ah! You, were using, you they, were using thumbs, huh? No. It, it went back instead of, I don't remember. But anyways, thank God I was already in the back position. So did you play it off good? Up. Like, so that's how you do it. Yeah, no, no one could tell. Only I did. Like, my <laughs> panic went quick. And I was like, oh, my God. Thank God it went on the free rack. But anyways. Wow. That's like that. You ever see that freaking, uh, what was that YouTube shirt? And the gun instructor's like, no, I'm a level five gun instructor. <laughs> 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 yeah. And, then, and he's like, did you mean to do that? He's like, no, I did not. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he's honest. Yeah. yeah. That was Joe, dude. Yeah. 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 That, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Well you know so how do you guys feel like about when you're in the gym and you see a guy with like bad form bad but you see him multiple times i usually what do you do i usually mind my business yeah i mind my own business until i start that's one of the yeah you know um they say you should never take advice from someone who doesn't look the way you want to (laughs) look you know what i mean so i always see these like really old actually never mind i'm not gonna say that (laughs) Um, so like, um, I know it's youngsters to me. Yeah. So if youngsters will look up to us because they're like, Oh shit, this guy has experience. He looks good. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and then they're typically more likely to take advice, but older people don't, don't see it that way. So, uh, I don't know. I like, I think we're talking about the same person right now <laughs> whose letter starts with a D, right? Yeah. Hey, yeah. You know, you know and dude, his form is just so bad. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah. Try, oh yeah. Oh, we, we try giving him advice and he just, dude, I've never just <laughs> listened. I just talked to Joe about this today. I don't know if anybody could relate, <laughs> but I try to go like spot the guy and it's difficult. Like he's like resisting. I'm like, what do you do? Like, yeah, I'm he's like to, waiting for you to do the work yeah, for like, him. I'm, you know? I'm, he's I'm, like, well, I'll grab it. Yeah. But like, I'm trying to grab it. Yeah. I'm trying to help him and it's like i'm like what the fuck is going on this guy's like making it more difficult but <sighs> yeah and yeah you know what? that the the only thing like i i i guess i'm gonna sound like a dick for this but do it when you start engaging and trying to help people like all of a sudden you want to they're like a gym buddy or want to work out with you or like i'm like hold on well joe joe got me for the first time about a week ago no, about a week ago remember i was doing cables and you're like you're moving too fast so like, he'll he'll come. I was like, first oh, of so all, Gina, back up. Today I'm like that? I'm working out and I'm, we're on a different schedule now because of our work schedules. Like we're not on the same day of the routine. So I was on chest and tricep. He's on back and by. 
Yeah. And I'm over there. I'm getting like my second or third. You're on tricep. Tricep. Yeah. That's what I'm getting to. Him. And I'm looking in the mirror. I'm like, all right, this is looking good. And this dick is across the, the cable machine. Like <laughs> looking through. And he's cable. doing a set and he stops and he just looks at me like mid set. And he's like, why are your elbows so far out? I'm like, <laughs> Uh, I don't even know. Fuck. Like in my head, like I just <laughs> fucking chooch. Yeah. So all of a sudden, like you know, I, I look in the mirror, fix it, and then I'm like, holy shit, I was totally way out of whack. You're like, but, oh my god, he's right. Yeah. Like Apple's it's just right. that's what your gym boys are for. You know what I mean? Sometimes right. you're not paying attention, or you're out of your. A lot of people ask me for advice too. Like especially the like Paige just the other day. She's like, am I doing these right? You know? And I was like, no. Like, well, I mean, I mean, it was fine, but it was like her placement was wrong, but. She also brought up to me today. She's like, "Are you are you talking about me in the pod?" I was like, "No, we haven't even brought you up." And now this episode, <laughs> yeah, you, are now. Yeah. you are now. You are now. Shadow Page. Um, she needs to shoot us. Hey, uh, real quick, uh, we're over the hour mark, but um, not that we have to finish up. But um, I was gonna say, uh, do you guys remember the last episode when I talked about our New Year's goals? Yeah. Have you guys thought about that? I not have. really. No? no, I had a feeling Adam was just gonna be like, "I don't fucking want a goal." Like, I don't, I'm no, not sure. I do. Honestly, like I've kind of. So real quick yeah. to recap, we had an episode where we filmed, and I said another lost episode. <laughs> We've had some issues. No more. Yeah. No more. Six, no more. We are. We are normal. We've had some we issues. Problems. We've got some fucked up shit in here. Yeah. We just we're, carry on. We're almost there. Pivot. Pivot. Yeah. Yeah. Pivot. Yeah. Pivot. Um, on this episode, we just, I, I challenged both the boys to all three of us to do a um, New Year's resolution and hold each other accountable. Yes. Something. You gotta catch me. I got another week, so I'm good. Yeah. No. Ten no. No. Days. Um, when Jorge comes on. Oh, that's what we're gonna do it. Are you yeah. gonna tell him as well? He's part. Yeah, yeah. Team. Let him know. Yeah. So let everyone know too, because I think that was on the last episode. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Jorge, Jorge is on our editing team now. If you're listening, yeah. So you're he will amazing work. Yeah, yeah. Amazing he's helping work. out our uh, editing, making it look a little better. If you guys notice, thank you, Jorge. Yeah. Um, do more. Do more videos of me and Adam. Yeah. So. <laughs> I think I. I think I have mine. It's all Joe. It's all Joe. Oh, by the way, I want to get sponsored by Keeps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is on the last one, huh? Yeah, so um, Hems and Keeps, I actually please. signed up for Keeps. Yes. And um, I didn't get the pill because they say, I guess there's like a, a good chance so, of side effects. So, hold on. I, well, what's hold the pill? On, hold on, hold on. So, real okay. quick, there's something in your body called... Cum. <laughs> <laughs> That's a short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is some of that. What does Mark Nolan say? Comedy. It's a three letter, like HDL or like ATL. Yeah, three remember. letters. C U M. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting better. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you're. It's uh, produced. Um, it's made out of testosterone. Your testosterone converts into this, which mm. promotes hair loss or like whatever, right? And since we're all <laughs> bodybuilders, we take <laughs> testosterone. So it's doubled it, up. Yeah, it like increases it. So this product that Keeps makes, um, it basically stops it from forming in that area that you apply this like cream to, or it's okay. like a some just something you put in your hair. Megan, but. I'm sorry, Megan. <laughs> she told me she's like, you look good with your sh- your head shaved, and I was like, ah, no. She's like, you'll keep the beard though, right? <laughs> wow. I was like, yeah. You're gonna shave. But they say you could also <laughs> use this like for people who can't grow beards. You could put it like in certain spots on your beard, and like, but it, so it takes three to six months. So what I wanted to say was, I'm bringing it up now. So that way, people, because maybe in three to six months, will be like, hey, Joe, it's really working. And we all know that Keeps so is going to work. Like, so long, I want Keeps so to sponsor this. <laughs> and I'm going to show everyone, like, firsthand that it works or it doesn't work. So do you have a complex about your hair thing? Or are you just kind of like, what's going on? No, yeah, dude. I, you know. <laughs> Losing your hair? Yeah. We're being true circle. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, nobody's listening. Yeah. My horns are starting to come in. But then I can also see, like, it's starting to dip in right here on the side. And I was like, every time Tony cuts my hair, I'm like, it just irritates me. I'm like, you know what? I've seen people have good results. <laughs> so you're all pissed off at Tony? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For how he cuts your hair? Yeah, Motherfucker, yeah. quit going so high on that fade. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, dude, he's the nicest guy. No, hey, no, I don't He's like, him, but... you don't need to cut a part in every time. <laughs> yeah, I love Tony. Uh, yeah, we're going nice to shout guy. him out here soon, too, for his <laughs> business. But, um, yeah, oh. no. I, yeah, because every time he's cutting my hair, I'm like, why is it so gray? Like, my beard's getting gray, you know? I hear that because you cr- you create too much hydrogen peroxide in your body. Really? Yeah, it makes you go gray. What? I Is your know, brother so how do you explain? So you mean you mean like those dudes that are like what younger that have salt and pepper? No, like no, they they have too hair. much hydro. What is it? 
Hydrogen peroxide. They have that in too much body? in their blood, dude. Yeah, in their body. Yeah. You got oh. some. You got some slivers too. Oh, that's because I got hydrogen peroxide <laughs> in, <laughs> you need a, you in need my blood. A, you, need a, you need to reach off to your uh, beard oil company. We need to get them. We need to get a beard oil company need to put on, them on the shelf. We need to get these hey, companies on. Uh, I went and gave blood the other day, guys. Oh, how was uh, that? Yeah, 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 it was yeah. great. And I feel what we you. I, I felt what you said. What you talked about the other day. I feel good. Right, I feel fucking. So I had great. this. I was gonna tell you, dude. I've been having this heart like I, fuck. I don't even know if it's my heart, but it's. It feels like exactly. I almost like lose a breath, like for a quick second, uh-huh. and like it, like it, like it's a quick like pound in my chest. I'm like, what? But it, it's no way do I feel like oh I'm gonna die or anything like that. But it got like real. It got um more consistent. More consistent, yeah. And then so I was like, you know, let me go give blood. And, you know, and um my hemoglobin was at 17, which is better than it usually is because it's usually just like above 18. And then um my blood pressure was 150, which you know was a little on the higher side. But that's um, we're on test. Yeah. And so um anyways, I gave blood and it came right out like in five minutes. I was Same. done, dude. It was quick. And um um but then I haven't had that that flutter in my chest since i've done it i feel like uh so i think it's a heart work you got a shirt right? yeah they give you a shirt yeah they, they, extra sucker. extra schmedium did you, want your, it? did you get your gift card I, I was actually gonna check down the way here and yeah, i was yeah, like, I got you, yeah, I got no um no uh shout out live stream yeah. yes you guys are amazing <laughs> hey, hey i feel fucking good it's like, good it's yeah. good for men because men don't lose blood people like yeah. it's something i learned from jake jim Shout out you, Mr. Jake. I was listening to him one day, which I've already been told that, but he kind of reiterated it, and men don't really lose blood, so sometimes it's good to, good to give blood, especially if you're working out or on testosterone, because mm. it replenishes your like blood supply. Yeah. Fresh. I feel, dude, I feel great. I feel great. My yeah, well, your, your, your heart has to work harder to yeah. pump when you have like a high hemoglobin, which it thickens your blood, right? Yeah. So you get rid of some of it to kind of make your levels go back to normal. It helps your heart. Yeah. Like, it, dude, if, dude I, so feel, I feel fucking amazing. Yeah. I feel like... Uh, Inflammation was gone. If that makes any type of sense. Mm-hmm. Maybe inflammation. I don't know. You eating better? Yeah, I've been. Yeah, big time. Big. That, time. That's a big thing, dude. My stomach's like completely gone down. All I did, I'm not doing cardio. <laughs> I know I should. Same. But, but um, I, will I, I just changed up the diet and like, dude, I like look way better. I've been doing uh chicken and rice like a motherfucker. That's what you gotta do. Chicken dude, and rice. That's, that's what works, dude. Ground honestly. beef, dude. You know what the best recipe? Actually, this homeboy <laughs> showed me yeah. was um, uh, boiling your ground beef, okay. and then you put you put it in a strainer, sure. and all the fat and all the bullshit That's in the it bad gets shit. all taken out. So now you're left with a superfood, which is because red meat's really good for you, right? Yeah, yeah good it fiber. Is. Um, so you can have ground beef now, and it's not so fattening. Yeah, yeah. I've been eating pretty. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I've been eating really good. Uh, and uh, cause I'm gonna fuck shit up come Christmas. Hashtag tamales. Oh, me yeah. too. Oh, I'm gonna oh, dude. fucking eat tamales like a motherfucker. One of the uh, <laughs> one of the trimmer ladies today brought ribs oh, and oh, nice. mashed potatoes and some other shit. Ugh. Oh my god, it was so good. So good, huh? Dude, mm-hmm. remind me of my mother. Dude, today after a workout, bro. Today Amazing. after the workout. Today after the workout, I went and got me a, I got me two steaks and six <laughs> eggs, and it was tremendous. Hey, I heard this thing Steak I want to talk to breakfast? you guys about. Oh, wow. um, 69. Favorite position. So th- what I heard was um, that women don't really... <laughs> There's no way I'm on top. <laughs> <laughs> there Somebody's is... getting suffocated. <laughs> hey, there's out. a funny story with Goose. JC, he'll have to tell you that. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, what? yeah, there's a funny story, dude. He'll tell you. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I got to be on the bottom just by, gotcha, okay. just by mathematics. So I heard some girls talking about it or online, and they were saying that they like it, but they don't really like it that much because, and it makes sense, mm. is they're trying to make you nut. But you're trying to make them nut. Yes. To Always the goal. Nobody's so, enjoying anything? It's exactly. It's not that they're... We're all enjoying it. You don't get it wrong, right? Don't get it twisted. It's just... You, she wants to focus on coming. You know what I mean? Like, she really wants to, like, be in the moment of you, whatever. Uh-huh. And then you, you're like, hold on. I'm, like, trying to get it. So you're not really I'm trying to eat the fucking <laughs> cookie. <laughs> yeah, <it's> all, <laughs> and so, basically, you're they're just like, trying to get it. <laughs> so, it's, a lot of girls tend to say it's a little overrated. Because like, you're, like you're at Willy Wonka's house eating hey, the wall? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe, <laughs> <laughs> the schnozberries taste like schnozberries. Joe literally envisioned it in his face. The chocolate, yeah, chocolate yeah, I was like, fuck, like, Joe's getting it right the now. The chocolate yeah. starfish. Shout <laughs> usually, I said, uh, usually I spell my name, and right when I get to Z U E, come. That's how that happens. <laughs> yeah. But it's our favorite. No, but. I think um, guys like it the most. I think it's the best. I think anytime. Well, okay, so here, I, here's on. my thing. So you don't think it's possible? Because we all know there's some unicorns out there who get off on that? are like fuck that yeah I'll no. be, 
There's no. I think no, I feel like sure. that's a majority. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, like, I it's think super a, arousing no matter what. I think right? Would you be on top before? No, I think a guy's happy. Have you been on top? Anytime he's getting his dick sucked. A guy's going to be happy, right? I don't know. I've seen a porn one time yeah, with Christy like, Mack. Well, okay. I didn't look at too I excited. have this thing about like uh, women get multiple orgasms. Yeah. Right? And guys usually, let's just say for argument's sake, we get one, right? And then we have we have a whole If you're not on trend, yeah. Right, right. So, I mean, I'll wait 15 minutes to go again. Let <laughs> yeah. me take a dick pill. So, we try and build our one nut up to their like 10 that they get. You know what I mean? So, the more that we do 69. Jesus, Joe, like 10? That, right? <laughs> Dude, it's, yeah, you got to get them up there. Yeah. G- double, oh, you're the one who said double. Digit. Oh, I'm a double digit guy. Don't yeah, throw it. Don't right. trip. See? Um, uh, well, you got to get them going a while before you otherwise. You're... But that's why guys like to be, you know, like pushed up, edged. So are you, are you guys like, uh, you just want to start fucking or you like the foreplay? Foreplay. Oh, foreplay for I love me sure. some foreplay. So do you eat pussy for them or you? I eat oh, pussy me. for me. <laughs> yeah, for <sure> me. <laughs> yeah, with our pussy powers combined. Yeah, no, dude, sh- for sure. That it, turns me on. What's Whoa. that girl say online? She's like, guys who eat pussy, f- pussy for their pleasure deserve a sandwich. Every I agree. Day. <laughs> yeah. Guys who eat pussy for their pleasure deserve a four by four animal style. That's yeah, what I gotta yeah. say. Like I tell my girl, like I'll be rubbing her butt or whatever and stuff. I'm like, this is for me. Yeah, this yeah. is my pleasure. I'm not rubbing your ass for you. Yeah, yeah. This is for me. I don't you're care welcome. If you enjoy yeah. this. <laughs> the fact that you're coming is a side effect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's how this works. But That's even, a bonus. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. Yeah, but certain things I tell her, this is for me. Like this yeah. is for you, and I'm just straight up about it. But I think that's like as you're getting older, you just kind of come to the senses. You're like, fuck it. I, I love me some foreplay, bro. Yeah, I'm a foreplay guy. You, you got to warm up the car before you take it for a cruise. Yeah. You Dude, know? It's so much more enjoyable, too. It like, is. You're just like, mm, you know now let I mean? me ask you a question. <laughs> What's a better type of foreplay? The passionate foreplay or crazy fucking sex foreplay? I, dude, I think the passion it leads to wild shit like sex. Like it's pretty. So intense. It, it sets up the level. You gotta start I agree. the passion. Yeah, yeah. The more, I agree. the more. If, like if you start kissing on the neck, the ear, loving on them, giving them a little attention, then all of a sudden they're like they're the one getting after it, and you're like, oh shit. No, I, hey, yeah. when you find someone that can match you sexually, I. Whew, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's probably crazy. There's, know? it's like you, said, but like you, just, it's loving or fucking. There's two of them. There's oh. one or the other. What about you? Love fucking. <laughs> you can make Dude, that's it. interesting. Can you, you expand on that? Oh, for sure, Adam. Like it's like foreplay is like loving. You're warming it up. Oh, like pre- oh, pre- okay, or fucking mind. is like you just getting in there and pounding it out. Else. Like fucking half of the boys now these days. Or no, just- because I have a theory though that too much fucking. With one person, let's just say, <laughs> because I, I'm not whatever. It's, it, can, <laughs> it, it, it can make it can make it can make a guy go bored, right? And then you, that's why you'll see like fucking the most sexiest women ever getting cheated on. Kim Kardashian, she can't fuck. We've all seen it. She's a boring fuck. Oh, she's yeah. loud and yeah she's like oh ray j it's like relax bro <laughs> relax he, he's he's not even doing anything but the guy uh, has no hit movement. i think you just you're, it's up to you to be creative and like i agree with your partner sure. or you're, you know what i mean you're doing it 10 like, times a day 20 years no, straight no well, i feel like it's how i feel like it's how you put it down it's how you put it down the but woman's gonna give it back but it's think all, about it like if you're just trying to do the same old thing 10 times a day every day it's gonna that get gets fucking more old. Yeah. Like, no matter what you're doing yeah, it right. doesn't matter if you're, it's pussy like it's gonna get old even for both people yeah so you gotta kinda like give, give it, it a little break I almost feel like that's why, why they new they approach made, they made the you know women make us fight for it a little bit more you know what I mean so, I never I my this is one thing that's always pissed me off I've never experienced it but I, I it just ugh when people are like, when I always hear like, well, it's your birthday, so I'll suck your dick. It's like, excuse me? Yeah, that's fucked. Yeah, like, that's what? Do I eat your Do I eat your muffin on fucking, <laughs> on Valentine's only? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, what, but, like that shit like that? Like, okay. Oh, 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 oh it's your birthday. We're going to fuck tonight. It's like, bitch, you should fuck me Monday to Monday. Because I'm going to give it to you Monday to Monday. So what the, f- special Kate? I don't do that. Yeah. That, 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 that's always bothered me. Like. Don't work for it because we're both gonna come. <laughs> so like, let's. You know what always bothered me was when uh, um, women after they get a breakup, they'd work out and work on themselves, and they're like working on me. I'm why like, didn't why, you do that before? Why didn't you do that when you're in the fucking relationship? Yeah, why didn't you do you that in the I mean? relationship? That's a though. wild. Yeah, that's a wild thought process where they like. Come that, I said. I, I mean, that goes both ways. Yeah, that goes both ways. That goes both ways, especially oh, for dudes. Sure. For sure. All those chooches that get heartbroken, they're in the gym the next day, hitting their 135. You know, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, but what they, well, <laughs> what they don't, it, it's two ways, I guess. I'm, I'm gonna assume my opinion is it goes either they're gonna transform and start working out and being a real gym person, or they're just in there trying to like get laid. Yeah, get laid because they think they're gonna look better and this and that, and it's all for you know pussy or yes, whatever, sir. So, or dick or whatever. But 
Yeah. You want to share one or you want your own? It's, hey, I got Hold a question. On. Hold on. Talk to me, Goose. So it's almost the first of the year. You guys know what that means at the gym. Oh, yeah. The new resolutions. Oh, the, the new, the, uh, what is it? The new um, New Year, New Me. Yeah. As I'm like getting more and New more, Year, New Me. Yeah. And into the gym. And then I like, you know, I'm more consistent. Been there a few years now. I'm like, this sucks. Like, I'm not looking forward to it because, like, Jake is. Not yeah. you, Jake, but the oh, owner. Yeah. Jake. The owner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm He's like, in me. The corner, like, stacking yeah, it. yeah for sure. Yeah. You know, uh, that does happen a lot. Even though it's like a, like a joke, but it does happen a lot. Like, the new year, new me. It's like, come on, man. Just be consistent. Here's the thing. What's the t- That's a hell of a point you brought up because I've always thought that. What? Want, like, like, oh, I'm working on myself. Like, why couldn't you do that during the relationship? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I like that. Yeah, oh, that, 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 that's a, that shit bothers I, oh, me big time. Oh, yeah. Because, oh, yeah. like, uh, you know, like for my... I don't know. Don't you think... as Don't you think you're responsible... You're responsible to be attractive for your spouse? 100 fucking percent. Like, why wouldn't you want to be? Why well, only you if you're like... given as good as you're getting, right? Like, I feel like it's... E- like, relationships are equal, no. right? uh uh-uh. You hold yourself to a higher standard. It brings everybody's standard up around you. Get them. Don't fucking play that. Like, I oh, mean, well, if I'm okay, like, you know what I mean? You hold your shit to a higher standard and you bring your chick with you. You're just saying it in a different way, but yes. No, I don't think so. I think you're sense, like, here they, you're, here they go. You're, you're settling for what works for you. Like just as anybody else, like, they, like, oh, okay, I'm not going to work out today. <laughs> no, I'm saying that if you take care of yourself, yeah. then your girl should be giving out the same. Equal. Fuck. Yeah, okay, that's okay. what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I don't mean, yeah. Like I, 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 Basically, you said it a different way, though. Like, you're holding the standard, though, and people need to follow, which is also very true. But I was just saying, like, if you are holding that standard, but your girl's not holding the standard with it's you, then it's a problem. I yeah. agree. I agree. But, Especially, like, when couples, like, when you say you and Gabby work out, that's fucking dope. Dude, I love it. I've been starting to like it so much because, like, we literally work out the same workout. It's, we a, just it's, adjust, a, it's a great feeling. We just adjust the way great feeling like the other day she got mad at me because she was cheating on her biceps like she was doing she wasn't getting full extension and i seen her in the mirror we were doing a superset gabby yeah and uh, wow gabby we were doing a superset and she was like she was doing curls with the bar but she was like not she was doing this yeah she oh doing this and i caught her i'm like hey you need to do full extension and she just kind of looked at me like she's like motherfucker do you want tacos tonight or what yeah yeah and i'm like hey if we're coming to the gym to work out you can't be that way you have to do like we're here to don't cheat yourself yeah like we're here to work each other yeah like i'm just trying to tell you you have to get full extension of that bicep to work it yes i'm learning i'm learning as well and just let's not waste time so she afterwards she was she was a good sport about it you know what i mean but in the moment she was a little bit shitty but that's only like our second or third time recently like really working out together like that that's cool that you guys get to work out together dude it's cool i really appreciate it just hit it no leave it on leave it on leave it on yeah, yeah leave it on leave it on i'll do it <laughs> Come on, Jake. Keep going. Oh, that, was a, that wasn't nothing. <laughs> Jesus. Hit it like you mean it. Big boy. Look at his arms. They're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's exactly what I did when he fucking called me Jake's out. Jake's got a gagger. <laughs> Jake's taking a gagger. He tapped. He tapped him. He tapped him, Joe. <laughs> Everybody's witnessing this. I got crap. You fucking dick. <laughs> oh my god. Look at his arms. <laughs> little They're cute so arms. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say little. Okay. okay I sorry. just said cute. Well, when I think of cute, everything's cute when it's little. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's If funny. a girl said you had a cute dick, does it mean it's little? Yeah. Adam's like, wouldn't know. No, <laughs> they'll, they'll say <laughs> they'll, they'll talk about a huge dog and say, "Look how cute that dog is." <laughs> right holy hey, shit i saw this girl's <laughs> podcast and they were talking about grower versus shower <coughs> and like a lot of women don't know the difference they just thought it was just some random fucking thing that's that bullshit so some random women just getting big dicks her whole life <laughs> well no they just didn't understand the whole term between grower versus a shower are you a grower or a shower i'm a grower we know you i'm a grower yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not allowed to talk about that anymore. <laughs> it's forbidden <laughs> i'm a grower adam is just adam yeah <laughs> <laughs> we can't talk about it. We should change the name <laughs> on there too. Are you a grower or, or are you Adam? Hey, are you grower or Adam? <laughs> yeah, you guys are going to do a poll? We're going to do a poll. Oh my God, yeah, that's yeah. a shirt. That's a shirt. What? A grower or Adam? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Dude, Gabby would kill us. Bro. I'd be like, you know you want it, so stop. Yeah. What size are you? Oh I actually, God. I don't know. If I'm you guys like, dude, proud that's your husband. I don't know if you guys have checked the new hashtags, but. Oh, you put them up? I put them up. Oh, okay, sweet. Well, it's not dick talk because I'm not getting in trouble. So. Yeah, sh- we should have tagged uh, <laughs> the gym oh. in that post because that shit was funny. I guess oh, so. the parking lot? Yeah. I oh, guess that was so. amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Hey, as far as I'm concerned, I you spoke the truth. Yeah, hey, I, I wanted to ask you one last question. Uh, uh, missionary. <laughs> <laughs> um, Least favorite If position. you could have anyone on the podcast, anyone, like anyone, any idol, any dead, idol, dead or alive, Ooh. like who would you pick? Actually, no, no, no. Let's do a live because yeah, yeah. you never know. Alive, like, alive. we could ever get to something. <clears throat> who's one person that you would fucking. <sighs> Adam, who do you got? I don't know. It's your question. Let me think about it. For it's your minute. question. <laughs> mm. so it's definitely going to be Hold somebody on. that's going to smoke. If I could have anybody on? Anybody. We could just hit them up and they're like, I'll be there tomorrow. Hmm. Damn. I don't got no shit. <laughs> I need to get <laughs> who, my who life together. Um, He's all fucking Chris Stapleton. <laughs> 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 Um, <laughs> You're a country girl. I mean, guy. <laughs> mm. Come on, Chooch. Who would you say? Fuck. I, you know what's funny is that I had this question written down and I still haven't even thought about it either. Honestly, <laughs> if I could have anybody on the pod right now, anybody, I would love to probably just sit down with Mike Tyson. Oh, wow. That's yeah. A good one. Yeah. Bro, he. That's that's a good one. That's a king, bro. Yeah, that's a king. Dude, he has so much. Just and plus, he smokes edibles. He like he would partake. Mushrooms. He, he would partake. Help. He would partake with us. And I feel like he would fit in. To be honest, we need to start shout, hashtagging him. Hashtag Iron Mike. I love you, champ. Go of all, greatest of all time. Hmm. <clears throat> that would be amazing. He would partake. Yeah, yeah no, that's a good. He point. would sit here. He would smoke. He would laugh. He drop us some. Wi- Have you seen that video of him talking about he's getting emotional and he's talking about he's a soldier of war. He's a student of war. He feels like a bitch. He, and he, yeah, and he yeah, goes, I don't want to be that. Yeah. And he goes, Why do you think I'm getting emotional? Because I don't want to. When I think about that guy, I get emotional because I don't want to see him. He's evil. Oh, dude, he's so badass. That's a king. I want to say my dad. Really? <laughs> Are you being dude, serious? I honestly went through a bunch of people in my head right now, and I just realized. I don't look up to anyone anymore. Is that your dad? That's the problem. Besides I'm, my that's, dad. That's the problem I'm having, Joe. I don't really I don't look up idolize to like, anybody. Well, yeah, when I was younger, I did. But now that I'm older, I just like... I went through all the people that like... I was like, maybe Trump? <sighs> yeah, that would be like the ultimate. You know what I mean? But, just to talk to him? I think but, like a... But like even like Joe Rogan, Trump. Like he's saying... Joe, I would do like like for me... I would love Joe Rogan, but like I don't know if I'd pick him for my talk. <laughs> no, like Sylvester Stallone? Yeah. Did Joe would partake. Arnold would be cool. You know what I mean? Arnold like would that, be fucking dope. Or, but that like... Yeah. I, I thought of that too, but like in reality, like what type of person you really think he gets sit down? I think honestly, I think Sylvester Stallone be cool to talk to. Yeah, yeah, because he's all into training. He's motivational. Cool to know. talk to for sure. Yeah, I just like, don't know about my number one though. No, my number one would be Mike, Mike Tyson. You don't be cool to well. Uh, Mike I, Tyson to me would just be everything. Mike Tyson is cool. I mean, I met him and he was a cool ass dude. Uh, he I just there's an aura him. to that guy when he comes in the room. I'm sure you fucking felt it. I feel like he's gonna hit me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're like, holy fuck! Well, such a beast. Everyone thinks they're a man till Iron Mike walks yeah, in, bro. Yeah, for sure. And you're probably just like, oh, I like wait. lower my voice. <laughs> yeah, you're yes, like, sir. please don't fucking hurt me. He's the king, dude. Dude, he's the king. I watched the documentary. I watched. I went after we talked about it. Yeah. Beyond the glory. Oh, fuck! Dude. I went and watched. You it see again. where he's at though, mentally. He's yeah. amazing. But like, oh, during there. Oh, oh he's dude. fucked. Yeah. He's fucked. It's, it's like say it brings you to a, like a sad mental state if you will. Yeah, like, like, dude. When he talks about, like, he's like, he's like, he's just <coughs> like he's talking Isn't that about when he first got his face tattoo. <coughs> he's talking about how I like, like I fucking hate my life and a motherfucker fuck. Like he's just going nuts, dude. Like he's not making sense and he's telling reporters, "Don't talk to me unless you want to fucking fuck." And he's like, "Unless you want to." You know, and you see him now, he's like fucking cool. And he's like, he's always been cool to me, but he's, he's just now he's just, I'm happy where he's at. Like, have you guys seen that video where he's riding the hoverboard in the and house? He falls and <laughs> fucking eats it. Yeah, dude. Dude. He laughs gets, his ass off. Dude. He gets knocked like flat back. <laughs> to the back of the head. He bounces off the ground. I'm trying dude. to get like a hoverboard for work. So I can really? go between the stores. Oh, God. Easily Joe, don't just do so that. Can... Get your steps. Bro, in. they're so sick, dude. <laughs> dude, that fucking shit. We just got has a Lucy one for Christmas. Uh, did you? Yeah. She gets tired of it. Let me know. No, she's 
Did you guys finish your shopping? Pretty much, yeah. What about you? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, yeah. I gotta go get a, a Stanley Cup tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. I finished mine today. Thank God. Yeah. One of those fucking Stanleys. But did you know? Hate the gift system because it's like, yeah. I people buy me gifts and I'm like, like now I have to get you a gift back, you know. And I know they're just being nice and, <coughs> whatever, but I always feel like uh, I don't know. We don't have kids. So I felt like a little more detached from Christmas because I know if I have kids, I'd want to go out for them. You know what I mean? I'll do it all up. We don't even put a tree up anymore, you know? Like, really? Yeah, we just kind of like do our thing. I don't know, dude. It's just another day for us because, like I said, I just think it's because we don't have kids. Really? Yeah. It's good to see family, though. You go see them, right? No, no, for sure. Yeah, we'll go visit the family. And stuff. That's that's wild. I'm not a Christmas hater or anything. It's just, <coughs> it sounds like it to me, but all no, right. No, 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 no. I love it all. <coughs> Die Hard's a Christmas movie. Hundred percent. So is Batman Returns. So I, is I Rocky just saw Four. It got rated number three for like the top Christmas movie. Yeah, because it, it is. So is Rocky Four. They fought on Christmas. So is <laughs> Batman Returns. I mean, oh, that's a good one. I just wa- rewatched Superman yesterday. Let's Which one? The um, Superman Man of Steel. The one, the first one where uh, with uh, the new Superman. Okay, Henry. Dude, what so a good. Henry Cavill. What a physique, Bruh. dude. What a physique. When he comes out of the water with his chest, I'm like, That's Fuck. what I'm thinking about exactly right now. Like, if he I shave my so chest, I look cool just too. like you. It'd be cool to hang out with him. <coughs> Henry Cavill? Yeah. Uh, I thought he was fu- I thought he was a kick-ass Superman. If you could... who's your? What's your favorite YouTube channel? Favorite YouTube channel? Yeah. The one that you look forward to every week to come out. Morning Combat. What's that about? Uh, <laughs> MMA. Oh, really? It's MMA, who's boxing. The, who's the host? It's Luke. Dude, shout out Luke Thomas. Shout out my man BC, Brian Campbell. They're just amazing. They're just, uh, they talk about, and they get fucking Is this Luke, that gray hair guy? Yeah, yeah. yeah kind of deep voice? Yeah, he wears the thick glasses. Yeah, yeah he's pretty legit. He's, he always wears like Slayer shirts and fucking like, not Slayer shirts, but like death metal bands and shit. And, uh, and then Brian Campbell, he's a boxing analyst, but they both know MMA. And uh, Luke Thomas knows his shit. He's just amazing analyst, and I, I like as boo boo, dude. I wake up in the morning, have my coffee, morning combat, and they're just so cool. And then BC always says like '90s references, so he's like, uh, "How do you want it? How do you need?" Like he always says like Tupac songs or shit. Yeah, but um, it's just they're real. They're like legit. They get high. Oh really? Oh dude, one time they were like, because they do these things for like the big fights. They'll do like uh, it's called man talk. Not man talk. It's something like man talk. Real man talk. And there'll be like the two of them, three of them, would have somebody on with them. They'll be on edibles because yeah. they're not they're not in the studio. They're they're just chilling. They'll be on edibles. They'll be smoking a J. They'll be fucking getting fucking hammered. Like there was this one. Oh my god, this fool was on so many edibles. They were in Vegas for a big fight in Vegas. <laughs> he goes, look at PC, look at him, and this fucker's like. Sit there, like, and he's so fucked oh, up. I love that. So, dude, it's great. It's they're just they're great. The first episode that never aired that I ate a bag of Cheetos, Cheetos, and I was chilling. Dude, you what's were, your favorite YouTube channel? Do you have right one? now? I've been um, listening to it's for work <coughs> for cultivation. Um, Arroyo uh, Office Talk. It's like all about cannabis cultivation and different things, and just a lot of questions. And I just turn it on, and every it comes out every week on Thursday. Nice. And nice. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of that. You learning stuff? Yeah. I'm learning a lot of shit right now at work. I'm getting my ass kicked. Nice. I'm like a student. That's, that's but cool. It's all good. Sometimes what about you? Um, I'd say my number one is, um, uh, it's called Perkins Builder Brothers. Uh-huh. Um, and they just build, um, they build smaller custom homes. So it's not like super extravagant, but okay. they're definitely one-offs. But uh, I'm fascinated with building. That's like my passion. Really? Yeah. If I could drop everything right now, I would just build homes. Really? Uh, yeah, I, I love, there's something about it. Just fucking how, how many homes have you built? <laughs> I'm, I'm doing my first one right now. Really? Yeah. yeah and you're, it's you're still just, a process. Yeah. yeah. You're just going. I'm learning. With it? Well, I'm going to school right now. Oh, Basically, my school is hands on. I'm doing it myself. You know, I'm oh, learning gosh. ground up everything from buying land all the way to the end. You know, but um, I had an issue when I was growing up because. I couldn't stick at one job for long. Mm-hmm. I dude, I would four months. I'd be like, "What's the next thing?" Six months. What's the next thing? I think I never lasted more than a year. I think my longest one was like ten months. And I just by the time I was like twenty two, I had so many jobs. But I realized like I basically wanted to learn everything I could from each thing, and then I went on to the next thing. And every time I go for a new interview, <coughs> they'd be like, "Well, how much were you making at your last job?" And I would lie and always add a dollar. Yeah, and then so every time I got a new job, I would just get that extra dollar jump 
because they'd want to hire me on. And I was a little cocky at that time because I never had an interview that I didn't get a job for. Wow. Like they always hired me. And uh, I was just a good talker and, you know, and whatnot. But as I got older, I was like, I realized it carried over in other things. Like every time I start a business, like I'm super passionate about it. But once it's going for a while, I'm not so passionate anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, well, what's, what could I do in life that could ease that pain, right? Or like, not, not ease that pain, but um, fulfill, that, <coughs> fulfill that, what I do. And building a home. Yeah. You build a home every year, one a year, let's just say. For 10 years. Yeah. And then you're not stuck in the one thing. You know what I mean? I could be wrong you know, down the road, but I'm one of those. That's why I don't have tattoos. I, I'll change my change mind. Change your mind. Quick. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're like, stop. I, I, I don't, I don't yeah, like he, to be on one thing for too this long. This year he likes this. Next year he likes that. So that tells me you're a multiple position guy in the bedroom. Thank you. You've been calling me a missionary man for a long time. I, I, I get it now. I get it now. He's like, yeah. okay, bend over. Okay, if, sideways. If you saw my drawer. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, we'll give see. me give me one of your Tell tools. You, that's sorry. Sorry. Give, hey, give me, hey, give me oh Jake, shit. Let's go back to the perk of no kids in the house. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Can, can you can leave can, the drawer open? Can you name me one item from that drawer? I'm gonna say a name. Oh fuck. I, I'm not gonna say anything after. It's not the name of the dildo or anything like Leroy or anything like that. What is it? <laughs> it's Betty. Betty? <laughs> <laughs> oh black. <laughs> That's my car. <laughs> yeah. Black, Black Betty. Betty. Yeah, I'm a lamb. Dude, he oh, got his shit, attention. He was so like, funny. yeah. Dude, Jake's face just got me right now. Oh, my God. I'm like, Betty? <laughs> He's like, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, my fucking car? <laughs> you fucking my car? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, is it called Black Betty too? No. It's not, there's, no <laughs> <laughs> there's no black. It's just Betty. <laughs> Mine's Bam a lamb. Uh, Damn, I'm, I'm interested to in know what Betty. I know what my Betty is. Yeah, she's even got a title on the back of her ass. <laughs> Fuck, Betty. She got a tramp stamp. Yeah. I wonder what Joe's is fucking. Go- I mean, my my oh, my, no, no. my my black Betty's known for its engine. I wonder what that Betty's was. It double A's. <laughs> So, USB C USB C is Joe would likes everything USB C <laughs> <laughs> Wi Fi enabled yeah, yeah. dude he's Wi-Fi got the, Bluetooth he's got Bluetooth yeah <laughs> he's got he got a charger yeah he's got a full time charger just, just the, uh, the touch charger <laughs> yeah like a phone yeah oh shit matching beats <laughs> oh, oh, shit. all right boys I think it's time to wrap up let's wrap up I'm glad we did another tripod episode we had things to talk about you know what hey guys believe it or not this was a last minute emergency episode yeah we told this morning we talked about it like, yeah it was i brought up to the gym and these two choose just surround mm-hmm. me like fucking alley pd yeah i pull behind him <laughs> yeah, he's all like look at him I'm like jake roll your fucking window down. <laughs> yeah talk to you <laughs> look at it he's like, looking at him like a fucking serial killer and i'm like oh shit it's adam <laughs> like i'm surrounded well the car happened to just back out right next to him so i'm like i seen joe pull over there i'm like fuck it i'm going over there <laughs> so and then it. i'm just sitting there twiddling my thumbs while you're talking to him i was like all right well. but anyways yeah yeah anyways yeah this is the last minute episode man i thought i thought it was uh i thought it was pretty good very good all right um, all happy right, guys. Hol- happy holidays, everybody. Yes, everyone. Merry, Merry, Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Hold from your family World close. Talk. Yeah, love yeah. your babies, man. Kiss your babies. Recharge your muscles. Smoke yes. your weed. Eat good. Yep. Take care of the loved ones. Yes, everyone. Have your, have your cheat meal. Yeah, yeah, enjoy. If you're eating tamales like me and Adam and Joe will be this week, mm. Godspeed. Ginger ale helps the heartburn. Mm. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it does. Does it really? Yeah, fucking A, really? brother. Let me tell you something. I need to help me. Let me I'm tell you something. My older age, Jesus. No, hey, Spicy right now. Foods don't work anymore. No, <laughs> same. Yeah. Right now, better than. Even drinking. Alka Seltzer and then freaking. What else? What other ones? Tums and yeah. all that shit. Ginger ale. I get diet, sugar free ginger ale. Sodas, <laughs> done instantly. Have you guys ever tried uh, milk? No, I'll throw up. Dude, <laughs> I'll fucking that, throw up. That shit works. Milk works. Doesn't it? Yeah, dude. It feels like a soothing. Just you're like, oh, <laughs> I hate fucking milk. I don't, I don't, I don't go along with dairy. <laughs> yeah. Adam's in the kitchen just taking that motherfucker yeah, out. Yeah, but I'm telling you, when you're fucking breathing like a fire breathing dragon. Oh, here, God. Like, it's worse. So You'll do anything. Yeah. <laughs> You'll do you burp and it hurts. And you're yeah. Like, oh. and, it, and you're like, just come out of my nose already because yeah. I'm sitting right here. That's why I try and eat good like, most of the time because I hate that shit. Oh, dude, dude Chipotle used to get that fire sauce on there so bomb 
dude, <laughs> bro, I'm crying the next day, bro. My ass hurts, my fucking throat hurts. Oh, it's awful. No, dude, I, I get in bed like at three in the morning. I wake up like, oh, you like, you know the feeling, yeah. and you're just like, oh, you're trying to get something to cool you down, but it's not. Working no, and then I just I ginger ale. I'm talking instant, especially cold. Done. No more. No, you burp. It feels like a normal burp. And you're good. Oh, Thanks for that jealous, advice, too. Yeah, ginger ale, everybody. To all my users out there, ginger ale saves lives, okay? Yeah. Uh, anyways, make sure you guys uh, smoke, lift, and live. We out. Night.